Friends, gather around the campfire. Last time on Cold Hard Witch, we had ourselves a good old fashioned beat down. Zilvana went and challenged Kadroth, the leader of the Knights of the Black Sword for control of the cult. And having been pulled to an alternate reality wherein on a frozen mountaintop, she and Kadroth threw down. And oh my God, did Zilvana throw down. She shattered him right out the gate and then level, spent level two shatter level two shatter like uh, like I, I will not lie to you i was my jaw hit the floor she hit him so hard and then initial turn i was like oh this is not gonna end well at all so uh yeah she she handily soundly defeated with a beautiful spinning pirouette through the air and a ice sword through the heart slayed cadroth from there, the party was then Wait, trans. Wait, did you say ice sword through the heart? Ice sword through the heart. Oh, oh yeah, she might that have a familiar. Yeah, that's anyone? new. You might have you might have not been there for that. Yeah, no. she might have a yeah. frost brand rapier now as a yeah. gift from Lavista. So, but I'm just saying, she must have got inspiration from the cold hearted killer. Because they were killing everyone with ice shards through the heart. I, I mean, wrong. maybe she wrong. was the cold hearted killer all along. Yeah, what if she was moonlighting as the cold hearted killer? Wait, so are you saying that the cold hearted killer was the friend we made along the way? It, yeah. Yes, that's exactly the cold hearted killer saying. was love, Flynn. Just like it always is. Oh, if, you, oh, if y'all keep going like this, I'm gonna just release ah. dream snakes on you. Dream snakes. <laughs> all you warned. All right. So she killed Cadroth and took control of the cult of the Knights of the Black Sword. So you are now uh currently running with the cult. And as you returned back to the care at Care de Naval, you discover that things are still uh amiss in the care, you've discovered that the speaker who you thought initially was dead, because let's be honest, speakers show up dead all the time in Icewind Dale, is now in fact alive. That speaker, Canock, uh, is discovered to be, oh, Flynn, how would you just, how would you describe the speaker? Uh, belligerent, uh, a man of the people? Uh, Little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, yes, that's the one. Um, he was very much concerned about his own self, but also the people who served under him, most importantly, because they weren't doing it currently. So you, you were then sent through the care to try to discover what happened to the previous occupants of Care de Naval. And as you delve deeper and deeper into the lower levels, you discovered many things, uh, bodies, rats, friendship, and mold, uh, all of which, uh, well, most of it tried to kill you. The rest of it just kind of left you alone. But then at the very end, we discovered a albino tiefling in the deepest levels of the castle. And it was at this moment that the professor revealed that the creature known as Avarice was the one that he had been searching for the entire time that he's been in Icewind Dale. And it was at that moment uh, we cut the stream. So now we return <laughs> to the bowels of the castle where the professor is about to have his reckoning or at the very least, hopefully he'll finally find the woman he's been searching for. I have no plan. So let's go. <laughs> My plan is no plan. All right. Brilliant. So professor, as you are, as, as you look Avarice into the eyes, she has been uh, so very uh, nonchalant with all of you. She, like, you asked her, where, where are the servants? She said, oh, they're behind the, the wall. You have to go ahead and activate the lever. And uh, they're in the other side of the cistern. Just don't bother me. Uh, and it was at this point that the professor asked her name. And she says, Avarice. And he says, you are the one I've been looking for. And she says, and who... In the Nine Hells, are you? Uh, well, uh, Professor Reginald Wellington Smythe at your service. I, I, I believe that we can be of some use to each other. She takes a moment and just sort of looks you up and down. It looks like you don't have a hand to spare. 
yes. Uh, yes. Uh, te te technically, that is true, I suppose. And I'll be honest, I don't quite know what... I don't know why I'm looking for you in the first place. Uh, but I found you, and, and that's and that's all that matters. <laughs> she just kind of cocks an eyebrow, like, <laughs> "Well, good for you. Now, leave me alone to my research." And she kind of turns, goes back to her table. Oh, 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 uh, wait, uh, there's. Uh, this what? is tough because I because I because I don't I don't know I don't know what what uh, uh, what uh, what what are you what are you working on? Can I help? I'd like to offer you my assistance. No, leave me alone. I doubt someone as hindered as yourself would be able to assist me in any way. Therefore, I find it best if you just go about whatever obvious adventuring thing you are currently involved in right now and leave me to my research. What is your research? What are you investigating? Make a persuasion roll. Uh. Can I help him? I feel like- <laughs> Can he anyone help him? you? I don't think you can. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyone who's currently in that area, you have uh, Flynn. Uh, Zolvana is actually very much, she has locked eyes with the statue of, uh, <laughs> of Levistus. And, uh, uh, and so she has not taken her eyes off of it. So Delphina and or Flynn, you may attempt to aid. How do you, how do you wish to do so if you do so? I'll attempt to aid. What do you say uh, to Avarice to convince her that you are of use? Well, we're really useful and we're really helpful. <laughs> Flynn, you got any I mean, more? To the, to the point, yeah, I, you gotta, I, yeah, you gotta yeah. love it. Yeah, I mean, hey, nail, nail to the hammer on the head there. So, <laughs> uh, Flynn, you got any more subtle knives over there? Or? <laughs> Um, Subtlety is not the only way. I have only known the professor for the better part of a few, few weeks, but the look in this man's eyes is comparable to some of the horrors I've seen, and I've seen a lot. Um, I don't. If, if you've heard the phrase uh, "look into the abyss and the, the abyss looked back," I think he might be the abyss. Um, he does not sleep. Uh, and he's he's got a penchant to to look for the macabre in almost everything we've come across so far. You persuade me just in the phrase penchant for the macabre. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Um, so and she, so she looks at you and she's like, he never sleeps. Hmm? No, 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 he doesn't. I get a lot more work done that way. See, like that. All right, go ahead and roll with advantage, Professor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, not, not great. Uh, 14. 14. Oh, okay, and then... Okay, okay. Wait, am I still holding on to an... No, I gave Zalvana one of my bardic inspirations. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh... And... <laughs> So, uh, with a 14... Is it, is, it, is it too late to use my d20 inspiration? Do I have to announce that before I roll? Typically, yes. However, as this is an RP moment, uh, I am, uh, I'm inclined to have you, and plus, let's be honest, I've been leading you along this trail for a while now. So yeah, <laughs> oh, I need ahead. it so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and roll that d20 inspiration. Burn more resources, please, and thank you. Yep. Let's go. Oh, it's not much better. Uh, 15. A 15 was the meat to beat. Yeah. So with that, I'm just, so she looks at you and goes, 
I am researching the Netherese necro necropolis known as Ethrin. Have you heard of it? Uh, just in name only. Yes. Well, then that is much more than most. It's uh, buried what under. You, what do you know about it? Yes. Shut up. It is buried under the ice. I am seeking it for my own reasons. If you can find any information on it, bring it to me here. And you said it was a, a necropolis of some sort. Indeed. There was an ancient floating city that crashed many, many years ago into the ice and was since swallowed up. Rumor has it. She leans in real close. There's a power there that has the ability to turn back time. Is it Cher? Is there... Only if it can reach your heart. <laughs> Is there something about the Dale that would... Mm. Uh, make it easier for things to, to cross uh, the, the barriers between worlds. Where did this, this necropolis come from? It was an ancient civilization. Uh, they have uh, about... Did it years. originate on this plane? Well, I mean, what does originate on the plane? Essentially, some things have deaths, some things have births. Eventually, they all exist or don't exist, and then other planes of existence fold in and on itself. I mean, are any of us really truly here? Yes, you're very wise, but you're 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 missing my point. Uh, is it more common for the planes to fold in the dale? There are certain magics here that have led to greater instability in the uh, the weave, but I imagine there are other places in the world where such things exist. Regardless. Seek out any information you may find on Ethrin, and I will do what my research here from the care. Seek me out here. If I am not here, leave me a message. I will find it. Uh, have you been able to determine where Ethrin crashed into Dale? If I knew where it crashed, I would not be here. I would be there. Right. Right. You may ask me one more pointless question. Is that your bird? It is. It, what's, it, what's, it, what's its name? That is Skelm. He is my familiar. Skelm? Skelm. Skelm. Our, our friend has a has a bird familiar also with his I mean I, I don't care. That's that's nice. Right. Find me the information. Seek me out here. And then she turns her back to you and goes back to her research. Whom do you serve? Who do you who do you who do you work for? She doesn't even look back at you. She just says over her shoulder. Do you I'll hold up my journal? I'm like, do you have do you have one of these? The Listen, I wasn't given a lot to go on here. I need, I fill in the gaps. I've got, no, I've got nothing here. Yeah. She takes great interest in your journal for a second. And she says, those are Nethrilis symbols on your journal. Netheries? Netheries. Yes. Would you be willing to leave it with me? I cannot, no. I'm sorry. Mm. Very well, then. Seek out answers. Bring them to me here. You may yet be of use to me. And I serve whom we all serve here at the care. 
And she goes ahead and looks towards the statue and then back and then turns back to her research. All right, well, little by little, the pieces come together, right? Uh, all right, gang, Flynn. Uh, yep, yep uh-huh, yep. Let, we got some people down here to yep. Where, save let's, or something. This place let's, is so weird. Let's find them. All right, so as the rest of the party, I imagine, so uh, have you all been sort of watching this exchange with the professor in Avarice? Or, uh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah. let's be honest. If things are going to get weird. Man, that was like, painful, and you, I, I got nothing. You, you're doing so good. You're doing oh, so, so good. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, so uh, as you look across the way from Avarice's chambers, and then of course past the statue, you see on the other side, another room. This unlit room is empty, except for a giant iron level, a uh, level, lever, that protrudes from the plate in the floor on the north wall. And this lever uh, appears to be in good working order. It, like there's no rust or uh, any sort of a, a, a decay or ruin on it, so. Oh, party members, oh mine. Um, anyone have any objections? Just turn to the thing, or are we scared it's gonna bite us? Do, do what we came here for. All right, gonna I'm gonna pull it. Okay, Flynn, you move towards it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you do you pull the lever? You know what? No, no. Yeah, I do pull the lever, but I'm gonna stay back here, <laughs> telepathically pull it. I hate this place. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> hmm. A new moniker, Flynn, the telepathic lever puller. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, that goes sideways quick. Yeah, it rolls off the tongue and into the hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Professor and Flynn are just going to have, have a contest to see who can telepathically move more stuff. <laughs> so you're trying to see which one can level her up? Is that the mm, idea? Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm, uh -huh. yeah. So, uh, Excellent. So, okay, using your telepathy, it, I, I, so, oh, can, can I require a strength roll of telepathy? How is that? How would that even work? Intelligence. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess an intelligence yeah. roll. See how how strong is your mind? So, um, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Because how, how? Wait, wait, uh, how wait, wait. I don't know. Is it? Wait, my telepathy has or? a has a. Uh, I think it's whiz. Um, Wait, hold on, okay. I, and then what is what is how much force can it emanate? Uh, you know? oh, no, it's intelligence. Um, no, it's telepathic. Frick. Uh, sonic powers. I feel like I remember your psionics being a wisdom based ability, but I could also be just trying to pad the things in your results. But, uh, <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta look through all Sorry. these notes. Uh, you move an object thirty feet. Uh, so you, I, so you are telepathic, which is intelligence, and then and telekinetic. Or my whole sonic bits are. Yeah. Looks like you just have your psionic energy dice. Yeah, yeah. So telekinetic movement. Um, which is that what you're looking to use? Yeah, uh, yeah. Use, all right, cool. So using your telekinetic movement, which is one of your psionic powers, it takes an action to do so. Let's see. What a telekinetic movement. You can move an object or a creature with your mind as an action. You can move that well, a loose object that is a large or smaller. So yeah, you can definitely move this lever if you can move a large creature. Uh, you can target it has to be within 30 feet of you, and you can move it up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space. If it is a tiny creature, you can move it to or from your hand or tiny object. Well, I guess you can move a tiny creature too. Um, lovely. Okay, great. So with that, yeah, you can definitely the psionic, the, te the telekinetic movement to you can move it with your mind, and the lever goes up. And as it goes up, you hear the unmistakable sound of the grinding of stone against stone, as far not far, but to the north here. Actually, Delphi, if you're still standing there. Wait, do I want to be standing there? <laughs> <laughs> I love I love how eerie and leery everyone's being about things. Uh, so if you're still standing there, which by the by the right of the fact that you haven't moved your token yet, you are. Yep. Uh, 
you see this stone slab here begin to raise up out of the icy waters and clear. And as it does so, it seems that the cistern goes on uh, for an additional um, another 40 feet. He'll tell him that it's it's lifting. Excellent. Oh, good. Okay. And so you hear this. As the stone starts to grind up. And then from there, the rest of this room is revealed to you. Uh, I believe Zylvana still has her flight in effect. And then, Delphi, did you activate your wings as well or no? Mm -hmm. She did, because she did not want to go in that near the water. Yeah, right, because no one wants yep. to go in the bodysuit. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. going in that bodysuit. <laughs> All right, love it. So then, uh, having done, uh, so you've got movement, which means the four of you, or the two of you can carry the other two. So you've got the four of you then traveling. Clear as mud. Clear as mud. All right. So party members of mine, do you move on into the next area? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Excellent. So uh, who's who's got who? Um, I'm in the boat uh, with the professor, I guess, if both uh, Zylvana and Delphi are yeah. flying. Yeah. Okay, cool. Do you want to, so, so, so Zylvana will take off and she will, she just flies down and around and lands, boom, right in front of the doorway there. With all 12 of her hit points. With all 12 of her hit points. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, lead no. the way. <laughs> what could in possibly there. go wrong? Uh, Delfina, do you join her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just giving me weird vibes tonight, F and DM. I'm very, very concerned about your to be, motives. To be fair, I give weird vibes every night. Some of you just don't pay attention to them. <laughs> no, we, we or we're immune to that. <laughs> or at this point, I'm just they're just so traumatized, yeah. Yeah, sure. Look, sure. I, you, you kill somebody almost once, and then suddenly they're just so leery about you. All right. So, uh, Delfina, you go ahead and fly down. And then, uh, Flint, Professor, are you guys just row, row, row boating? Row, row boating. Row, row in the boat. Row boating. <laughs> Across the water. All right. Um, <laughs> so, uh, as you go ahead, and the, so the four of you come across the way, and uh, you, you see this five foot wide, eight foot high tunnel that just leads back uh, into a room that smells of filth. Scarf is up. It's at this point that Zilvana sort of turns to you and says, There are people in the next room. Her voice seems distant, uh, like she's gotten colder. Uh, um, she says this to Delphi. Yeah. She says, there are people in the next room. Uh, uh, how, how many, how many people? <laughs> More than two, uh, at least. Their, their breathing is ragged. You can hear them breathing? Can I hear them breathing? Can't you? Roll a perception. Oh, I'm going to get in on this too. Because... <laughs> yeah, everyone, get it. Roll them clickety-clacks. Are, are they nice? Are, are they good? They're breathing. All right, so what'd you roll for perception, oh, party members of mine? Seven. Uh, loading. <laughs> Jesus, you can't hear them breathing, okay? All right. Four. Uh, four? Yeah. You can only what hear the professor doing? breathing. Yes, Delfina. <laughs> Thank ya. Yeah, Del so you, Delfina, with a 22 <laughs> on the roll, well done, good on you, uh, you know that there are five. 
there are five people in that room. And this is where we're going to go ahead and jump to <gasps> Fariel. Uh, can I can I can I interrupt you there for just one second, DM? So I want to thank you, you most to, certainly can to uh, to Snake Spinner for not only re-upping sub but for just giving us a ten dollar tip. So oh, DM, really? that's going to be a a random healing potion. Oh oh man! Well, you know what? Maybe I can get a healing potion. That'd be nice. Uh, yeah, maybe Silvana can get the healing potion. <laughs> right. All right. So, so if, let's. Uh, I don't have a heal button. So if you could roll up what potion it is, I'll do the inspire. We'll see who gets it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, the professor with a nat twenty. With a nat hey. twenty, he will get. <laughs> so you'll get a normal uh, healing potion. I rolled a, a one. A oh, one. On which, if that was an Anderson 100. D100, like, y'all would have been, like, sitting pretty. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah so, so that's just a, a regular... The old 2D4 plus two. Potion of healing. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Snake Spinner says he was hoping for 2D20 inspirations. Oh, well, that is also the solid possibility. So let's see here, we have... So that would be uh, uh, the Professor and Delphina... So, Professor, you've got your D20 inspiration back. Delphina, Excellent. do you have a D20 inspiration? Uh, yes, it looks like I still have a D20 inspiration. That All I'm right, then. Get. So next on the list is... Xander. Xander, do you have a D20? Uh, I do not. I have spent mine. Curses. Very well, then. Well played, Snake Spinner. Can I also throw in there... What's that? Um, I just also wanted to throw in, if anybody entered the giveaway early on in the stream, we had a little, uh, you know, technical difficulty with getting that open. So you may need to re-enter. Um, it is open and working now. So just make sure you get your entries in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. P apologies for that. And I did find something in the Lawful Stupid mailbag here that uh, I'm not sure why, why it came to me. It says, uh, my dearest Delfina. Well, I'm not sure why Eldath has seen fit to take you from us. I know it will be for a good reason. You're surely doing the work of good and actively rebuking the forces of evil. Do not be led astray by the lure of power and wealth. Your grandmother and I could not be more proud of you. Your mom sent you that, so... Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was... Before the game, I was like, you know what? I'm going to mess with Chelsea a little bit. <laughs> I'm not in trouble! Yeah, she doesn't you're... know about Levi. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Sure hope mm. you're enjoying your time down on Faerun. <laughs> <laughs> Never make good choices. <laughs> that went oh, out with the window group? the second she joined the group. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so D20s have been uh, doled out. And with that, we go to Fariel, who find yourself waking from a slumber inside the office. The last thing you remember was that Cadroth had been grabbed by, you think, Thub? And then thrown against the wall, but it wasn't Thub that you saw there. You saw this ice blue eyed creature in Thub's body and, and it threw him. And as you saw Kadroth hit the wall, your senses went white. And all of a sudden you couldn't feel anything. And now you just, you're kind of standing in what appears to be a giant puddle. None and of your party is around you. Tempest is there. And Tempest is there. Um, I'm going to... Tempest! Where is everyone? Can you tell Xander I'm awake? You can do that? Yeah? <laughs> Message is getting delivered. Good job. Xander? Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, can I just um, kind of take a peek see around the room you absolutely can take a peek see around the room you are currently standing in what was the speaker's office yeah oh you I... got a boat registration last time let's see what you can get this <laughs> oh man yeah. she totally she did license. yeah yeah oh. so i want to yeah i want to search this room and see if there's any yeah, 
anything. anything. I got to be careful where I let you go wandering because last time you just got into all kinds of shenanigans. All right. Um, so uh, go ahead and make me uh, ooh investigation check would be. Uh, investigation. Well, that's not great. That's <laughs> 11. 11. Uh, okay. With the 11. Um, yeah, there's the there's the fireplace burning happily, and uh, there are you know the, the the chairs in the room and his desk. Uh, are you, you gonna? Good bird, Tempest. Right. <laughs> He's just getting back to me. Hang on. <laughs> one, yeah, one second. One one second, friends. So I'm just going to search around this room. Yeah, keep, keep poking around. And while, you know, not find a whole lot because everything's wet and What's gross. the the rare candy equivalent in Dungeons and Dragons? Get them all. Yeah. Them. Uh, <laughs> man, I would have thought it was like deal with the devil, but we tried that one. Maybe <laughs> <it worked. laughs> I mean, look, I even have my Pokemon shirt on. Maybe we just come across some rare candy and just it's, it, yep, mm -hmm. just eat it. Down them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Man, it's really difficult trying to play a high charisma character when like my personal charisma is like an eight. <laughs> That's why I don't play high charisma character. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> So we it's finally fine. finally get everything running on the stream, and then the DM has to take a phone call. It's fine. He wouldn't take it unless it was important. Uh, it, you know, I've known Ryan for a very long time, and I don't know that I would agree with you on that. <laughs> What's that, Tempest? Terry fell in the well again. <laughs> <laughs> oh you're muted, Ryan. You're still muted. What is this madness and shenanigans that you're getting up to? Oh, nothing. 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 <laughs> <laughs> God, I love you all. Uh, all right. Candy. So, uh, all right. So you go ahead and uh, check the room within 11. You see it is much the room that you expected it to be from before. Mm -hmm. Like nothing seems out of place. Do you go and check anywhere else in the room? Everywhere that I can. Yeah. Everywhere that you can. Yeah. Oh, man. This is going to be like all those click Keep adventures where you're just like this book. Around. No, this yeah. book. This book. Okay, mm -hmm. this book. Take use, literally everything. Like, case. oh, my encumbrance Look. is too high. What's the least? If I throw that one out, all right. grab something. All right, go. Like, <laughs> that's what's happening right now. I found a candle, a, a wooden spoon, a. All right. Three uh, spoon bowls. with candlestick. Go ahead. Uh, as you check the desk, go ahead and roll again. Okay. I'm going to use a different deck. Oh, yeah, that is a 21. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. With a 21 inside the desk, you find a ring of keys. Ooh. This ring of keys appears to, uh, give me a, well, I'm not going to have you investigate it again. That would just be silly. But, uh, are there any keyholes around? Well, so the desk? you, you being a roguish individual, mm -hmm. uh, you notice that they're like, you keys, check all the drawers. Keys. Yeah, keep keys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> our, our rogue is, is very much prone to uh, breaking and entering, emphasis on the <laughs> breaking. <laughs> so, uh, Look, I'm yeah. great. My, my history of lock picking is phenomenal. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. You got, you got one. <laughs> so, <laughs> Um, I mean, so one yeah. of two, that's, that's, that's 500. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. That's you know. 50, 50. It's better odds than most people. <laughs> uh, so as you, so you go through all the drawers in the desk yeah. uh, and a lot of it just seems to be, you know, Sorry. the, 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 yeah, the, the, the bullshit paperwork that is the running of a, of a, of a small town, like various sundry, like, oh, my cow is in so-and-so's pasture and like uh, tallies of things and whatnot. Um, but all the drawers are open. Like there is none, none of them appear to be locked. No secret compartments. No secret compartments. I'll knock you, on it and, you uh, know. Okay. So I know as you knock, like the, the, the treasure from this, uh, uh, from this desk seems to be this ring of keys. Gotcha. Cool. But nothing, I don't see anything that has a key hole. Currently. Looking around, uh, the room, you notice that the office to the door, uh, has, has a keyhole. Uh, and then, of course, you know of the um, secret entrance off the side, which doesn't have a keyhole, but has a button that needs to be activated. Okay. Okay. Is Tempest still in here? Tempest is still in there. She looks at you. Do you know where Xander is? 
Can you take me to him? And she flies over to the door leading out of the office and then sort of like she's hovering in the air and looking back at you. I'll follow. Okay. And then she takes off. Uh, as she takes off, she leads you uh, through the room out. Uh, you notice that Thube is sort of sitting uh, in the waiting room. And as uh, as you come out, he stands at attention and goes, oh, I'm, I'm so I thought you were. I thought you were. Zavana, you are not. Uh, if you please. And then he sits back down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And then as you walk, do you do you continue to follow Tempest yeah, out? Yeah, I'm just kind of like, I'm like, whatever. So Tempest <laughs> flies out uh, into the main corridor, and he says, I'm so glad to see you've recovered from your uh, ice cube. I just and then, uh, so then as, as I imagine you're walking past him, uh, he'll take you, Tempest takes you up through uh, the main serv- uh, serving hall, and then up the stairs around to where you uh, first uh, spoke with the woman who prophesied the doom of Icewind Dale. You know, where is that? That old, that old chestnut. Uh, as she then, Tempest takes you up to the speaker's bedroom. Oh, dear Lord. I've just muted. Or, I've, Tempest has grown six sizes. Right, so. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm, uh, I'm upset that I scrolled the map away. Yeah, no kidding. So now Tempest is showing you her final form. No, all right. So, uh, Tempest is the BBEG. Wow. Yeah, she's big, yo. Don't want to talk about it, guys. All right. <laughs> Dear Lord. All right. Uh, there, I put me with All right, her. yes. Lovely. And uh, Xander, uh, as you come into the room, Tempest flutters over to the side and lands. All right. Get a new tone and disappears into the... No. Uh, <laughs> I give Tempest a little scritch, like, good bird, good bird. Yeah, she perches herself on top of the mirror, and you see Xander, who is? Just by himself talking to, is the cat still in the room with me? Absolutely. Touche talking, sort of yeah, cat. A, talking Touché to, watches Xander, uh, or watches Tempest fly up on the mirror, and she eyeballs in, and then like kind of creeps over towards the mirror. No, 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 look, 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 look. You see right here, this, this is what tells you about the activation. Yeah, no, come over here. Come over here. Yeah, I'm not going to let you eat my bird. Come over here. She kind of like does that like slow cat stretch. She's like, okay, I'm going to think about it. And then, I will. I will. That's uh, a ballsy cat that would take on a full grown owl. As yeah, well. no doubt. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pop Tempest out uh, just to and just, just to, to diffuse that situation. There it is. And Tempest oh. pops. Uh, um, and here's Xander. Well, you're uh, you're not you're not frozen anymore. Are no. you are you okay? No. I think so. What happened? Where is everyone? Uh, we uh, we were we were fighting, and then Thube had the 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 eyes and seemed to be speaking as though he was possessed. Yeah, I and remember you, that. We were whisked away to a mountaintop, and and Zalvana and Kadroth fought. She was she was really good. Uh, and we were sent back here, and you were in a in a a column of ice. And they told us to to not touch you because if we broke you, it would be like actually breaking you. Well, I'm I'm glad you listened. Uh, why are you in here talking to a cat? Where's everyone else? Well, we the mercenaries who. Uh, who, who run the the new trading post? Uh, we we bought some stuff from them and Azar's came, Bazaar. Azar's Bazaar. Mm-hmm. And I came up here to to identify stuff, and then uh, everybody just kind of fucked off and left me here with new oh, stuff. Sounds, sounds about right. Uh, yeah. You got oh, anything good? Uh, yeah. These uh, these two things I think would definitely interest you. Uh, this is a, a a belt of the rogue, and uh, the the quiver of the forest. I, I definitely think that they would be up your up your alley. Awesome. Thanks. I'll take them. And then, so you don't know where everyone else went? Uh, no, they they were. We we spoke to the speaker who said that his servants were being held captive in the dungeon somewhere, and so I, they went to try mm-hmm. to suss that out. But that sounds like Flynn. Someone needs help. Gotta yeah. go. 
Yeah, he's a real uh, he's a real do-gooder, isn't he? Mm. Oh, he also thinks that something I left out. Zavani's <laughs> in charge of the cult now, and so we're uh, like with that, her. It, mm, okay. Yeah, Flynn said that we should get a retainer contract. I'm not super sure what that is, but he said that way we work for her, but we're not part of them. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Can we be like council members, like you know? Her, like, Ooh. secret, you know, like, cult, you know, like, we're above the cult, but, like, help lead the cult? That would be cool. I, yeah. I, dude, I'm with it. I Make a pitch for that. I'll back the you count, on The it. council of the, what are they? Black knights? Knight somethings? I don't remember. Yeah. The, Black swords. Yeah. Black swords. I don't know. We should totally, we should, I'm, I'm with you. We should totally do that. You could call yourselves the knight court. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. I, I I love when your head's in that position because the horns actually fit your head right there. Uh, as if you think I'm not doing that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> this is just this is just to let you all subtly know I'm just a variant. That's all it's for. Um yeah, as seeing as how I don't have message or uh, sending yet and they're out of range for message, I guess the I we would have we to go head. try to find them, yeah. Wherever the dungeon is, that's where Flynn will be. Let's just head that way. Yeah, that's, I learned that with drinking with him one night. That's more true than you know. Whether he's in it or rescuing people from it, he's going to be near it. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I had a great time, but... um, And so then we'll, <laughs> we'll just <laughs> head down the hall on that uh, DM and head back downstairs. Brilliant. All right. So at this point, uh, both Feriel and Xander are traveling. Going to get the party back together. Yeah, I, I would have scooped up uh, like all the stuff as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, given the amount of time between this, that, and the other thing, uh, you have sufficiently identified all the things you need to identify. So uh, let's get back to the ambush. I mean, the other group who is currently trying to find a way through the darkness. All right, so uh, party members of mine, those of you who were in a boat, uh, you have since pulled up to the dock next to them here. So Professor and uh, Flynn, you go ahead and put yourselves right there, uh, just on the water's edge. And don't do it, that's the, that's the body soup. Don't get in it. I don't wanna be in the soup. He's trying to trick you. Don't worry, it's good soup. Get in the soup. <laughs> All right. So uh, soup is cold. Yeah. Right. And uh, as you go ahead, and those of you with dark vision, which I believe is all of you, uh, peer down the hall. You see uh, both Delphi and Zolvana. Like you have, you have people sort of like crouching, waiting. Uh, and as Zolvana goes ahead, and she just sort of steals herself. And then you see with her wings, she sort of unfurls them and then lets her eyes go uh, pure, uh, solid, uh, kind of giving herself like a terrifying angel. Uh, Delphi, roll me a perception check. Do we want that? Hmm. Y'all are gonna have to kill Zalvana. Not, not, not today. Their perception check? Uh, was that an eight on your perception check? <laughs> right after my 22, yeah. Yeah, right after that 22, yeah. Dig it, dig it. Okay, so you absolutely can see the, uh, so you were so focused on the five people in the room, you're like, there are five people in this room that as Zalvana just seems to go like Super Saiyan, just and like puts herself up to her full height. You, you don't really seem to notice anything has changed with her. Like this is something that, uh, you as Asimar can do, and uh, you can use it to great dramatic effect. And so, as uh, she goes ahead and walks into the room, we discover that the prisoners almost immediately uh, try to go ahead and grapple her. Uh, as they do so, Let's say like four of them manage to grab a hold of her, and as they grab a hold of her, they like latch on, boom, boom all four of them, they, they're holding her, get her, hold them. And, but in an instant, 
one of them looks her in the eyes and as they look her in the eyes sh- they cower back and hit the wall and the like, and then this person this s- sweet old woman shrieks save me save me spare me spare me and falls to the ground and like covers her head uh party members what do you do all right uh so hey hey everybody oh, wow um okay let's uh calm this down right quick okay um everyone i know did, did let's let's step away from from silvana real quick silvana you want to take five in the boat or something it's and like, she's like and she again she looks at you flynn and she's just like i just wanted them to know that i was here yeah they know you're here and she kind of turns and walks away from you and traces back down the hall towards the water uh standing cowering sitting sort of slumped against the wall in front of you are are five very dirty people who have seen better days you have uh lannis alderdusk who is the speaker's 64 year old assistant notary and scribe uh he, he is he is the uh the, the butler that uh, uh Kranich had mentioned earlier um Oh, uh, apologies. He is. That's not the butler. That is his. Uh, that is basically his his version of Thub, if you will. Uh, the butler. Apologies. Is uh, Efric Nobraf, who is a skeletally thin fifty five year old man, uh, and he just looks as if like a, st- a stiff fart could knock him over. Like he's just not looking long for this world. Uh, then there is, of course, Melbara Nobraf, who is Efric's wife, who is the woman who cowered before her. Um, she's muttering some stuff, uh, in anyone here speak Dwarvish? No. No, as I said, I, th- I think we lost our dwarf. So yeah, <laughs> so, uh, she's, she's muttering some things in Dwarvish, which doesn't necessarily. I, I actually speak Dwarvish. I'm just not there. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so, uh, uh, she's muttering some things. It sounds like maybe a little bit like a prayer. Uh, and then there is, uh, Tam Sharf, who, uh, is... Uh, she appears to be uh, uh, the housemaid uh, from her soiled clothing and uniform. Um, and last but not least, there uh, is Dasser Ravenscar, who is um, the, the what was the uh, the previous dog keeper on the on the lands. So, which one is this one here? Go ahead and take a look. <laughs> That's Tam Sharf. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I'm just being a. <laughs> I'm just being me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See five right. identical women in a room together. Yes. Five. Of, well, and you you know, say, so, yeah, this is all viewed from uh, Kranich's viewpoint. So you see one person, uh, you see them all. Oh, um, man. It's, it's pretty rough. Meta. Anyway. I love it's it. Not great. See, as you get to know them as people, then they become. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh. Uh, hey, everyone. Um. And they all <laughs> no, 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 I'm just, I'm just in the glowy eyes. Well, sometimes, not now. Point is, um, we're here to get you out. You, you've, you've come to kill us. No, no, get you, not take you out, get you out. <laughs> and then that's, and that's, and that's Elbrecht, who, uh, Elbrecht, who sort of speaks up. It's like, I, I'll have you know, we, Wait, did you say come to get us out? To get to save save you? I get um, use small words. We don't get help. We're we're going. We are you're. Oh, and then his wife, uh, my, my brother's. Oh, thank the gods! And it comes up and she just immediately. If you don't try to stop her, yeah, no, nope, nope, it's all right. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, she's yeah. kind of like picking you. Up. <laughs> she like lifts you a little bit up off your feet too. And oh, you're like, okay. Whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> he's a. It's a hard, hardy woman that uh, that Mabara. So uh, and then yeah, and then uh, Tam, the housekeeper, and uh, desires. Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God! Like and so, just a chorus of of relief and joy, and tears, uh, which are currently the only clean lines you see on these people as they trace down their very dirty oh, faces. No. Uh, so, friends, uh, there are five I, people. I, do want to give them a rundown of the situation of the keep before they get out of here. So yeah. like they, yeah. And All so right. they, they say, so you've, you've, you've driven out the cultists and, and you've come to save us. And 
Right, right, right. Okay, so, so, so we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bullet point this. Um, so I will need y'all to be cool when we get up there. Um, we did not get rid of the cultists. They're still very much there, um, and running things. Um, your speaker. I'm, I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read the. Your speaker's fine. Other than being a. A jerk. Uh, other, yeah, other, other than being a raging asshole, but he's, he's fine. Um, Master Cyber has always treated us with d- d- dignity and and and. Come, come on, we're, we're in a dungeon now. You don't gotta lie to me. Well, he, 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 and then uh, uh, so Efric is very much trying to speak up for uh, the the current speaker of uh, Caridin of all, but his his wife sort of elbows him in the ribs a little bit, and she's just like, please. And then, so, uh, uh, so you go on to explain the situation, uh, both Tam and, uh, um, Tam and Desir are, seem very much on board with just sort of like, look, whatever gets us out of the dungeon. Yeah. Like, um, like, yeah, the cult is still in charge, but there's kind of a sense of normalcy. You're, you're, we're getting you out of the dungeon and but, clean and food. So that should. So we We'll be released, or, or we'll be. I mean, yeah, I don't plan on putting y'all to work. Uh, just, you're just, I'm trying to get y'all out of here, unless we'll you wish. Are we out of a? Are we out of jobs? And then Tam's like, I can't, I can't, I can't leave. I, I have to stay in the house. I, I, I must, I must. Yeah, yeah, we're still. There's a new order thing here. Let's have this conversation topside. And then, but and then Elbrex, look, <laughs> look, it appears that clearly you, you, you have some uncertainties about what's going on, so I would wish to speak to whoever is in charge. You uh, would, but that, that was the glowy be... eyed lady that just walked out of here, so you want to talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, see? Yeah, there there you go. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, yeah, and sure. then, uh, uh, oh, oh, and then Melbara steps in front. Oh, or whoever the representative is, that would yeah, be... That's, that's most... yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, uh, for, for now, that's me. Thank you, and I, I'm, I'm Melbara, this is my husband, Efric. Uh, this is Lannis, and uh, and then uh, Tam and uh, uh, D- Desire. This is, uh, uh, so, you're the new bosses. Mm, well, in a sense, just her. We're just kind of her her friends, <laughs> companions, really. That's when that's when Tam looks over at Desire and goes, mm, "Retainers." Thank you. Yes, yep. re- retainers, <laughs> retainers. Yep. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> So I'm I gonna... think that to Flynn, the council, the council. We're the council. Mm. I don't know. The word just came to me. Council. That sounds like what we, what oh, we are. That's nice. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Uh huh. Like yeah. Um, so uh, I'm going to say uh, that you get people into the boat, row them across the water, and are able to then get them out of the cistern. Mm-hmm. And all it will take from you is two rolls. Of a one hundred, a D one hundred. Oh, who wishes to crow? Who wishes to well, well, wait, wishes... like, wait, an Anderson D one hundred or a regular D one hundred? Uh, uh, the the Zarecki D one hundred. So, uh, so go ahead. Who wishes uh, to roll those? Oh, who, um, I want one. Okay, you, Professor, okay. We'll, roll, we'll roll one. Who's who's rolling the other one? I'll take the other one. Unless Delphi okay. wants to jump on it. You want okay. to jump on Delphi? <laughs> Uh, after my eight, nah, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't rolled anything higher than a three. Oh, well, I guess I did. I got that persuasion check. All right. Uh-huh. All right, come I'm, on, crack and dice. No. Now, I'm on a mediocre streak. Now, friends, <laughs> you can roll this, and then if you have your d20 inspiration to burn, well, like a d20 inspiration. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not really sure. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why are you laughing? What, what did you concerned. roll? What did you roll, Professor? Can I roll the that bo- d20? The body soup just got a little meatier. Can I roll oh, yeah. the D twenty? I got three. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. You're done rolling. Ah, uh, I got a two. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. Yeah, I'm rolling that D twenty. Like, are uh, we gonna die? Uh, <laughs> but they might. Fariel, I, I suddenly get the feeling it's way better where we are than where they are. Yeah, right. Maybe yeah. we should just go get a coffee. I feel like we should get a coffee. Searching as hard as we're searching right now. All right, let's burn, burn the D twenty. Yeah, burn the D twenty. All right. Whew, that's an eighteen. Uh, third. Are we adding this to what we rolled on the D one hundred? Yeah, yeah. You're so that's a twenty. Do that. Okay, I'm up to a sixteen. A six. Okay. 
actual brilliant that's that's good that's really good good is it good or are you just <laughs> no it is good it is okay really good. so you are able to get these guests uh these poor souls uh out from the dungeon and back up over to the ladder which leads up uh in the midst of the rowing you think for a second that you see the bodies start to move under the water but as you continue your way across you get them all to huddle down deeper into the boats and get them out of what you perceive to be maybe harm's way but the incident because of your roles passes on and no one has been endangered uh so jesus uh, christ <laughs> as you as you come up from the i want to thank anybody for those beautiful d20s <laughs> yeah, yeah to my party members otherwise these poor poor souls uh so that you come up into none other than uh the teleportation room which is where we'll have the entire party <gasps> meet up so uh oh, thank goodness. xander and uh Fariel, you go ahead and put yourselves in the teleportation room and this will uh, leave all of you right uh, right about here as we're all coming back together, getting the band back together, as it were. And then I'll go ahead and gracious. get this merry gang of, of, uh, of hostages. I mean, uh, good people. Out this map there. is huge. All right. Right. All right. So, bloop. There we go. Yeah. Oh, no. This, yeah, it's, it's a big old map. And then uh, Delphi Flynn, make sure you're. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to. I had to zoom out so far. That, oh yeah, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, and then Zariel. So uh, as all of you convene in the teleportation room, you see that the circle is still going. The 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 previous uh, employees of Care uh seem to try to skirt around the edges of the circle, not wanting to enter it directly. Um, but they also are trying not to put themselves next to one of the cultists. It is not an easy task in the least, uh, as the cultists themselves are sort of shuffling for space inside what has currently become a very cramped tower. Uh, Zovana looks at all of you and says, I need to take care of some things here. Yes. So, so, so do you want one of us to, to, to kind of talk in your steed while you, while you do that? So we don't have any sort of, so Thub can, can take some orders from us. I will. I will like a council, it. like a council, yeah. Zolvana. That sounds good. I will take these people and, uh, I'll get them sorted. They'll be my I'm, responsibility. We, we could I'm, do that. We, I'm gonna, we, we I'm gonna we send. Take care of that. I'm gonna send a message to the professor and ask him, "Hey, w w what's what's up with Zalvana?" I yeah, don't know what you mean. She, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> and, and, and add that I'm gonna then send a message to Flynn and say, "Hey, uh, what's up with Zalvana?" Uh, yeah, I was actually going to ask if I could like insight check her because I didn't, I haven't seen her at all since the. Absolutely, you can't go ahead and roll, roll that beautiful insight. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna look at Xander and do kind of like the John Cena thing to like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That... Like she went. She she got up. She got a face full of mold, and then she went all stoic like this. I don't think it's the mold's fault. I think. <laughs> I think, you know how everybody's been turning into icicles? Yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of like that, but I prefer the icicles at this point. Yeah, yeah you ain't I wrong. Icicles <laughs> would be cooler. So, <laughs> um, I got a 14 on insight. 14 on an insight. Okay. Uh, to all intents and purposes, she looks like the same Zolana. Uh, she does seem, in her demeanor, to be colder somehow. Less... Uh, <laughs> colder. Less harder. Which year? Which year? Yeah. Mm. 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 Uh, <laughs> but yeah, she just she seems to have lost a, a, a good chunk of her effervescence. Uh, her, she doesn't her bubbliness. Seem, yes, exactly. It, it, it very much as it's as if the 
the the weight of this leadership and perhaps the pact that she has made mm -hmm. has, has pulled her down a little bit and so she's very much in she's very pulled in on herself right now so when she speaks to you it's you need to take care of this and i i'll take care of this as well and, and that's what needs to be done uh, oh yeah yep yeah. no we we got we got this we can take care of a lot good i need you to go to bremen Uh, yeah, are, are, mm -hmm. are, we, are we still going to get that, uh, that, that rest and recovery that some of us need, or do we need to go? Now. I, I think you can go now. You should go now. Uh, okay. Okay. Is that where the circle is attuned to? Is Bremen? Do we she will look, in some coordinates? She'll 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 look to uh, one of the cultists who are currently around the corner. I need you to send them to Bremen. They must go there with all haste. And the leader, uh, without breaking this, two, two. And, what and are we just, looking for in, and, and, in like, and, and, and all of a sudden, the chant seems to pick up in pace a little bit. And as it picks up pace, the circle starts to. And you see this cold blue light sort of activate the circle around as it brings itself almost to full circle. Uh, and then as the power coalesces, it's as if a howling gale has opened up in the middle of this room. It's just, it seems everything's getting sucked into the hole. She's like, and then she shouts to you both. She shouts to all of you over the, over the, over the, echoing wind go now and then she you five with me and then she looks and walks in through the secret passage and into the speaker's office the 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 five uh empl former employees uh not hostages but damn it certainly feels like it <laughs> seems to be like walking along the wall as though and then like ethric scott uh malbara in his arms he's like trying to keep her against him and against the wall but again stiff fart can knock him over so he's having a struggle bus of a time but all five of them are making their way out of the room as the wind increases and the hole is just <sighs> it seems to be calling to all of you do you step into it I'm going to look at Flynn and then at Fariel with a, uh, like, what do we do look? I will um, look back and go and jump in. <laughs> Fariel goes. Dude. Good, good. Then she'll Dude. have, she'll have the highest initiative since she's first. <laughs> 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 I don't think Thub is in here with us. Ah, uh, I need, uh, I, need to yell at, I need to yell at Thu because he's the one I can bully. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I I'll look back at, at Delphi. You you coming? Uh, yeah, I I can't let you guys go alone. All right, let's do it, and then I'll let's go. I'll I'll take the leap. All right, so Xander takes the leap. I follow. Professor goes. Yep. Delphi goes. Yeah. All right. I'll check in. I'll, then I'll follow in after. Somebody watch that kid. And I jump in. <laughs> and then, and then, as soon as you jump in, like you jump in, then the floor is stone again. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we'll take our break. Yeah. Oh, they're dead. <gasps> they're dead. <So> they're <laughs> all <laughs> dead. <laughs> Welcome back, friends. I am the Friendly Neighborhood Dungeon Master, otherwise known as the FNDM, and this is Cold Hard Witch. When we last left the Harbingers, they had found themselves with a whole new problem. And it sucked. <laughs> so, uh, having just rescued what uh, appears to be the former employees of Care Dinaval, uh, their new cult leader, well, their new retainer of the cult that they are currently. Re mm. So Zelvana has <laughs> it's complicated. all of them to go to Bremen, uh, which for anyone who, who has been watching the stream, you know that last week they were told that there was a creature under the sway of Oriel in Bremen and that the party was tasked with taking care of it. 
whatever that may be. Um, Zolvana has then now reinforced this and sent the entire party to Bremen. When we last left our party, they had been sucked into a hole, which presumably was warping them to the town of Bremen. We'll see just where the Harbingers wind up. I bet it's East Haven. Oh I bet we're going right back to East Haven. Oh my God. That would be, God, wouldn't that be the worst like Groundhog's Day game where it's just, like, oh, <laughs> yeah, just leaving them. It's just and, the the, and there's Herrick. Oh, I just made tea, everyone. <laughs> would you like some tomatoes? <laughs> That'd be a good one. Um, but no, you actually find yourselves in the town of Bremen. So uh, you find yourselves landing to the north of Bremen here. So if you take a, a peek at the map here, you find yourselves, boom, just shy of the of the town here. Uh, everyone see my ping? No. Nope. I'm um, nope. sorry, I do not. Oh, hang on a sec. I'll put myself on the right layer. There we go. And ping. There, uh, yeah. there it goes. Excellent. So you're literally almost right underneath the town, the sign, Bremen, as you go ahead and find yourselves on this town on the far, far north side of Icewind Dale. So where Flynn is a giant. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, no. The transport, the transportation changed us. Now we're giants. Oh, my God. You monsters. Uh, so Davina, you, stop crushing buildings. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Make my monster grow. And I throw it. And <laughs> that's great. Um, so, as you find yourself, I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> from Power Rangers. Uh, okay. From <laughs> I, was gonna say, I knew at least Rodney would get it, but all right. Oh, of course, all. of course, I would. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Bremen. Bremen is a lovely little town, uh, about a, of 150 people. Uh, so, do we know where this is relative to where we were? So, relative you, to where you were, anyone who's been in the ten towns for like over a year, you would know sort of where the towns are located. Bremen is so almost exact opposite of the ten towns. So, as a, as you find yourselves teleported, there it is. So you've Where's got the wonderful way? map here, right? So you've just it's, gone <laughs> there. That's right? not helpful. This is helping. So, this is totally helping. Well, okay. So we're, uh, we, we, we were in all the right, so you north were in, east. We were, you were in northeast. Care Dineval. So actually, if you're looking at the map of Icewind Dale, Bremen is almost directly to the east of you. So as you, if you were to like literally fly, as the crow flies, you could travel east and hit Bremen. Now Bremen itself is north and east of Bryn Shander. Um, and it's on the, basically the opposite side of Icewind Dale. That makes When you say sense. east, do you mean west? I, yeah, I do, I do mean west, thank you, sorry. Because east is the East Haven, there's the what, mm, mm. maps. So <laughs> yes. West. I want to go to West Haven. West Haven. <laughs> this yeah. is where you burn down East Haven and just make it West Haven and mess with everybody. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, so yes, Bremen is almost directly west of Care Dineval, where you just were. Okay. At, at, a, at, a, at a good distance? Uh, you've traveled about 20 miles. Okay. From that's, that's, a, that's a pretty fur piece. Like... Over like, but over mountains, over land. That's already so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as you find yourself coming into the town, you realize that all of you are still in a state like having gone through the fight and then getting pulled into the trial and then rescuing the fine people uh, in the lower dungeons. You are weary, to say the least. Does this place have an inn? The only one way to find out. <laughs> All right. So, do you enter the town of Bremen? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I love it. I right, looked, so, looked everyone else. Everybody, 
Roll me a roll me a, a history check. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see if you uh, how much how much knowledge you can uh, drum up on Bremen. A six. Nineteen. Um, seventeen. Sixteen. Nineteen. 19. Okay, so uh, so hang on. Let's let's do let's let's do a party roll for this, shall we? So, Xander, you rolled a seventeen. That is a pass. Uh, Flynn, you rolled a sixteen. That is a pass. Professor, you rolled a. 19. That is a pass. And Varyl, you rolled a? 19. 19. Nicely done. And last but never least in my mind, Delphi, you rolled a? I'm sorry, what? It would help if I weren't muted. A6. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make it any better, but yeah, you're right. All right. So, um, yes, you rolled a 6. That is a fail. But with the 4 out of 5, you all, uh, you are able to sort of drum up some information on Bremen from your collective minds. You know that there are essentially two taverns or, well, okay, two taverns inside of Bremen. One of them is a five tavern center. The other one is Buried Treasures. Mm -hmm. Buried Treasure is the inn. Um, this as the name implies, uh, caters almost sp specifically to treasure seekers. Um, as back in the day, you were able to pan the river for gold, though most often than not, it was left behind from ships that had crashed and then had washed up onto the shore. But regardless, it's still gold. So, uh, but as with the winter and the freezing over of the lake, it's let's say it has not blessed the town with its typical boons and buried treasures has become somewhat buried under the weather as it were um and then of course there is the five tavern center now the story goes that there were five brothers who originally intended to build a tavern together but each assumed that the other one would be the one to actually run the business and since none of the brothers would work for the other brothers they each built their own taverns and now compete for customers. And these five taverns are in no particular order. The st Stones, Even Keel, the River's Mouth, the Grumpy Moose, the Black and the Black Bearded Brother. So there it is. The Grumpy Moose, yo, we got to go to the Grumpy Moose. So these these this is five speaking. So these five taverns <laughs> are are some of the older taverns and they are rather poorly maintained by very grumpy brothers. But here they are. Um and and so course, do do those taverns have have inns in them? Cuz you seem to say that the only the the buried treasure was the the inn. The buried treasure is the inn in town. The taverns are the taverns. Now, there may or may not be a room or two that you could crash in for the night, but if you want a decent night's sleep, your best bet would be the buried treasure. But uh, I'll go ahead and ping on the map for you, oh, friends of mine. Buried treasure is located here all the way to the south, as close to the shoreline as it can get. You can see that ping. Mm -hmm. Yep. Lovely. And then the five uh, tavern center are these five taverns right here. As I click in the middle of them, stop it. There we go. So those five taverns here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Those are the five taverns right there. We got it. Dig it. Love it. Um, is there a, like, where would the speaker's hall or like the town hall typically be? Um, everybody roll a perception check. <laughs> and is the speaker dead here? <laughs> well, I, wish... I just want to kind of take a look yes. as we walk through and walk by. Um, only, a, only a 10 on the town hall. 10 on the town hall? Uh, I rolled 23 roll? on the 23. town 23. Hall. I knew it. I, knew, I was like, please, Fairy, I'll come and clutch. I mean, Fairy, she's been around 10 towns for a while. Yeah. You know. So, uh, clean as day. I was checking on Delphina, who rolled a five. Oh my! <laughs> oh, honey, what? You know what you need? We need you to need like bathe your some, dice. You need some yeah. cracking dice. That's right. That's right. Got to right. get cracking. This is what happens when you don't use cracking dice. <laughs> Let it be a lesson to all. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I can't can't spell dice without ice. There it is. Ah. Uh, Delphina, I'm so sorry. Um, no, but Fairyel, with that beautiful, what is it, 20, 
23 that you yeah, rolled? 23. Yeah, yeah, 23. Yeah. Uh, you see clear as day beyond the five tavern center. There seems to be a building that has just a little extra height on it. Clear as as any as any town that you can has have been in as any town that you have been in you can tell this is the town hall like it's it's got the most prestige on it and you can also see it's probably one of the more solidly built buildings in Bremen. So uh, looking out, you're like that's the town hall. As you go ahead and ping it uh, for the rest of the party, they can the town hall is right over there. Yep. This is the big one. Got it. This is the yeah, big one just that, behind that the five right tavern yeah. center. All right, harbingers. What do you do? I say we head for buried treasure. Oh, but Professor, we're looking for the inn. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I'm thinking that it might, if we could just kind of play into the uh, the lore of the town a little bit, if we just kind of not disguise ourselves, but try to pass ourselves as just normal treasure seekers and not try to draw too much attention to ourselves. You were great at not drawing attention. We'll, we'll be fine. Yeah, uh, I thought we'd try something new for once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, brilliant. Uh, so, a- as we're walking, DM, I'd like to... I probably will require a perception roll from me. I'd like to look out for some of the guards and mentally compare what they look it. like with what have... I have in my pack. Yeah. That's what which Feriel does not yet know about. Why? <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. So, uh, go ahead and roll that beautiful perception roll then for me. Okay. Be so kind. Uh, seventeen. Nice. All right. So with that, shoot, do, do, do. Uh, yeah. With that seventeen, you can very clearly see. Um, uh, the the guards and uh, as you do so, let's see here. You take a look. Uh, you guys should compare. And yeah, the uh, your 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 heraldry is absolutely uh, what matches to uh, the, the 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 garb that you have now. So you see this a very plain white uh, field on top of which is what appears to be a, a, a sun or an, an orange circle with a slight blue stripe and then uh, sort of a turquoise triangle off to the side there. Mm. Uh, as you're checking that out, that's, let's say that is a, you're like, oh, yep, yep. And all of the, the guard uniforms that you have have that exact same insignia just over the, um, over the patch. And so I will, since the others know, I will send a, uh, a message to Feriel and say that we happen to acquire two of the uniforms in case we need them for some subterfuge later. Excellent. Brilliant. So you are continuing to travel through the town? Yes, not drawing attention to ourselves. Not uh, sure. I'm going to, but as we're kind of entering, I will resummon um, Tempest. Perhaps we should stop off at the taverns um, you know, just chat with the locals, see what's happening before we go to bed. I mean, I could use a drink. <laughs> I could always use a drink. Orange whip, orange whip, orange whip. <laughs> Three orange whips. Oh my god! Yes. Oh my god! You're orange my favorite whip. now. Yeah. <laughs> Flynn, Flynn wins for the uh, for the. Uh, Blues Brothers <laughs> reference. Uh, all right, so uh, do you pop into one of the taverns? Yes. Delphi, are you old enough to drink? I mean, technically. <laughs> I mean, okay. it's, it's, it's Icewind Dale. I don't know that they really care so much about that. <laughs> no, that's, that, that's true. That's true. I, I, yeah, yeah. It's... He's, he's not wrong, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I love it. So um, Ryan flipping through the laws of Roman yeah, right. drinking so age, like, oh, drinking age. Oh, 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 twelve. Okay. <laughs> what, are, what are they getting into? What are they getting into? All right then. So uh, as you go ahead and head into the first tavern you come up upon, uh, up upon this is the Stones Tavern. So as you walk in there, and sure enough. Uh, place is a 
bit of a dive. How like, close together are the taverns? They are like literally like, like right next to each other spitting distance you can literally stand on the front door of one and spit on the next one stand on okay. the front door Do that they one you seem can equally popular they all seem equally uh disheveled so <laughs> <laughs> yes in terms right. of small in terms town, of quiet town five are taverns. Any busier yeah. than others uh, no, none of them seem to be any busier than the other. They all okay. seem to have the same trickle of uh, of loyal uh, of patrons. Okay. And so, uh, as you go ahead and see, uh, 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 there we go. Uh, you go ahead and head into the bar, and as you do that, uh, the bartender looks up and says, "Hello, I'm Mackie Daytona. How may I help you?" Uh, just uh, five drinks uh, for now, and maybe a, maybe a couple of nibbles. We're gonna, gonna warm up a minute if that's that's okay. Probably. I'll uh, I'll, I'll get some uh, some some dried fish chips for you. Uh, just normal human bartender here, so uh, I'll uh, I'll take care of you. And then he uh, sort of shuffles to the back. And... Um. Nope. Was, nope. Was, nope. What was, was that? Nope. So, Insight so check. Like, let, let him uh, let him walk <laughs> away <laughs> first. <laughs> Insight check. As soon as he turns around. Yeah. Same here. Seems like you all are, are a bit jumpy. What's going on? Is everything all right? <laughs> all right. So, uh, so Mackie uh, goes ahead and walks off. And as he uh, walks off to get your beers, uh, insight check. Thirteen. Oh, Fourteen. You, go, go ahead and roll them. Beautiful insight checks. If <laughs> we had them, we are, we already rolled them. As soon as he said, <laughs> we were we human. were ready. <laughs> you just you're all so suspicious. I don't know why. <laughs> Normal just, human is not a normal phrase. Yeah, you don't say I'm just a normal human if you're a normal human. I don't see anything wrong here. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, why, that's why. That's, that's why we're right. out. That's right, so let's, let's go may, around may, the table. May, maybe the only worst thing would be just variant human here. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally normal. Carry on. Uh, so, to uh, here. Xander, what did you roll? Well, I, I I didn't, but I will. Oh, um, well then. I have a 14. A 14. Lovely. Professor, what did you roll? I didn't. Okay, I love it. And the professor doesn't care. <laughs> 14. 14. All right, I love it. And Fariel? Uh, 17. Seven, uh, 17. Nicely done. And, of course, last but never least, Delphi? 14. Oh, good on you. Oh, right. I lied. 13. I was looking at Delphi's role. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I love that the professor, like, that actually is a normal thing for him, so he's just like, oh, well, whatever. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Finally, some normalcy around here. Yeah, right? So, <laughs> oh, the, uh, finally, another normal human. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so nice to have a simple, normal human bar to drink in. That's just lovely. <laughs> it's been so long. More more people should announce that. It's just hard to get a good <laughs> Makes things um, so much easier. So, with the highest roll being a 17, nothing seems amiss. Right, I'm still uncomfortable though. Yeah, oh, I'm absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's yeah, it's not a comfortable bar. But uh, he goes ahead and uh, do you? Uh, that'll be uh, five coppers. Yeah, I'll I'll pay him that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Drop the five coppers and he just drops the five mugs. And what you're drinking is just a sort of generic. Very, very watered down mead that seems to be popular. It's it, basically yellow water is about the the equivalent of it. Like a, a copper was a generous sum oh. to ask for. Yeah. Well, yellow, it, yeah. yellow water seems to be somewhere in the different. the snow. In, in I the work s- with yellow water. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> anything else that Mackie Daytona can get you? Uh, uh, you mentioned I'm- some lovely, n- completely normal fish chips. Oh, absolutely. And he goes ahead and drops a bowl onto the counter. As he drops a bowl onto the counter, you see what appear to be dried totally normal. fish okay. chips. Mm. <laughs> Thank Are you. Are you human? <laughs> Delphi, you yeah, just ask just, someone that. Delphina, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a little imp- impolite. Rude. Of course I am. Maggie Daytona. That's a fake name. <laughs> <laughs> Our, uh, it's like Rusty Shackleford. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Rusty Shackleford? Shackleford. Rusty Shackleford. Yeah. Uh huh. It's an alias. I love it. It's an alias. I love it. 
I love it. Also, um, Delphi, thank you for that. <laughs> are you uh, are you one of the the brothers? I am indeed. Uh, the Daytona brothers, Mackie. Now the brothers, Tacky. Then there's Packy. Then there's Jackie, and Steve. There, there it is. Mm. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then um, my guess is this is obviously the best of the five establishments. Of course. The Stones is the most normal of all the human bars. Oh, God, what, what's here. abnormal about the others? Ah, oh, they're just less. Less normal. Less. I'd prefer to go to the less normal ones because at least they'd be upfront about it. Well, when's the last time that we haven't had five drinks in one afternoon? So yeah. we, got, we got time. We can make the rounds. Make the <laughs> What if, oh, are you, uh, you in town? <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, like... Hey, town of pub crawl. So, What's your special oh here at the Stones? Yes, Bremen, Bremen town pub crawl. So as you sit there, he, like, starts to clean the glass, but he does so in a very, like, exaggerated way, as if, almost as if he's, like, the bartender in a movie or a TV show. Like, he's just yep. like, yep. Like, he seems, to, he seems to be cleaning the same glass for the last 20 minutes, and then, like throws the rag over his shoulder. And then you swear the next time you look at him, he's cleaning the same glass and then throws the rag over the shoulder. It's if he's in sort of like a weird time loop. Yeah, we're stuck in a Disneyland animatronics attraction. <laughs> oh no. Are there any, looking around, are there any doors? Um, like, is this the only room? Are there other rooms? Around? There is, so there, yeah. Similar to most of the bars that you've been into, you've got the main entrance that comes straight out on the street, and then uh, then behind the bar, there appears to be a doorway that goes into a back room. You can assume that there is, with most tavern designs, like a way in which that the beer can get to the back room, so there may be a back entrance behind the bar, but not that you can see from your location in front of it. Is, is, is he still right on top of us? Oh, yeah, you're the only people who are, like, at the bar. There's maybe, mm -hmm. like, actually, you kind of look around. Go ahead and roll a perception check. Yeah, quick. no, I want to do that. I want to get a get a sense of the bar. Um, What's your special here at the Stones, Mackie? Ah, it's the Stones Throw. Dirty 20. Jeez, I'm crow. No, no, Stones Throw. No, Stones Throw. All right, so a Dirty 20 on perception? Mm-hmm. Love it. Uh, anyone else perceiving? Nope. <laughs> No, but while they're, nope. while they're nope. talking to him, I'm going to slowly um, just make my way back out. <laughs> I just, yeah, I love that. That's great. So, uh, Xander, with a dirty 20, you, you could have sworn that there were other people in the bar when you first came in. But as you look, like, really look around, you're the only five people in this bar, including, well, with... And then at, with Jackie as well. So there's only the six of you who are currently in the bar. With Who's Jackie? Mackie. Oh, I'm sorry. Mackie. Mackie. This is Mackie. What's Jackie doing here? Scoping out the competition? That's ridiculous. <laughs> only one who comes um, in here is Mackie. Mackie Daytona. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying what? to slip out. <laughs> so Fariel has like slowly started to dip back out. All right. Because Anyone I want to go around back. In my mind, I see Flynn's sort of eating the fish chips. Like he's just like, "Look, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything." <laughs> yeah, for no. A while. <laughs> so, so Be what real you, with everybody. What What do you describe to my friends here? What the What the stones throw is exactly? Oh, look! The stones throw is the fish chips hmm, between two pieces of bread. Stones throw. While he's describing that, can that I, under the cover of taking a drink, hard cast detect magic? Without being noticed by him to do that, I'll cover for him. So, so he's talk to my friend Flynn over here, and then okay. I'm taking a drink, and I'm going to hard cast detect magic. So, what okay. makes it a stone? Like, is it just heavy in the stomach, or do like do you, do you throw the sandwich? Or oh, the bread actually has stone in it. The bread has stone in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They right. really clean you out. It's wonderful. Uh, okay, Ooh, I like that. Uh, what do I want you to roll for that with advantage? Well, no, I mean, I cast it. Oh, well, then snap, son. Okay, so I, you cast I, it. Yeah. What's, uh, what's wait, is, that, is, that what you're, is that what you're asking? Yeah. I hard cast so, detect magic, so you have to tell me what I can see within 30 feet of me that is magical. <laughs> okay, within 30, well, okay. So within 30 feet, so many of your fellow party members kind of, mm -hmm. like they all kind of light up a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and as you look around the bar, 
Nothing. Like. Nothing funky about Mackie? Nothing funky about Mackie. Nothing magical about Mackie. But he is <laughs> funky. I mean. He does bring in the funk. Do, uh, Ma uh Mackie, uh, do you perhaps know someone named Chael? I'll probably say Chael no. Okay, okay. I was just checking. She, she, she said that she had come through here before, so. Oh, I see, I see. Well, no, uh, just Mackie Daytona. Normal human bartender. Hey, you, uh, you always put your last name in there. And you use the word normal a lot. That's, um, is that normal here in Bremen? For oh, folks to say it. things that are normal? Oh, I, I find that between my brothers, it's always good to sort of differentiate myself. So, because they're not, because they are not normal. Well, I mean, I can't say. I don't go in their establishments and they don't go in mine. But here at the Stones, Mackie Daytona. Here at the Stones, Mackie Daytona. Huh? I run. I run out. The, I run out the door and I run to, <laughs> and I run to wow. the other pub. Wait, while they're <laughs> keeping him busy, I want to go. I want to sneak around back. Oh, okay. That's why I left. Oh, of course you do. Of course you do. God, I love. God, I love you all so much. You when know. when Flynn when Flynn runs out, I'm gonna act like that is totally normal, and I'm gonna look at Delphine and go. <laughs> Totally normal Flynn move right there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He does that all the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think don't that's worry, a new but... personal best for him. Yep. No, that, that reaction happens a lot when people drink our beer. That's that's fine. <laughs> oh, 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 I can't beer. drink this because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't drink beer. <laughs> it's okay. You can drink this. I, I only. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Anyone drinking? We're not drinking the beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I want to sneak around back while they're keeping Mackie occupied. Okay. Mackie, okay. Mackie Daytona? Yeah, Mackie Daytona. Normal human bartender? Normal human, Normal human bartender. Of All right, cool. So roll me a stealth check. Okay. 13. Oh, 22. A 20, yeah, okay, you fine. So, yeah, uh, given that doing. he has customers in front of him, Mackie seems very much invested in just the three that are currently remaining, uh, as two of you have seemed to dip, but this does not seem to phase him at all. In fact, you doubt very much that anything, anything phases would phase him. him. So, uh, but Mackie just stands there and he continues to sort of as as Xander has already hard cast his detect magic and everyone else in the room, like all of his compatriots, magical items have sort of pinged off, but nothing seems to be amiss except for the fact that Mackie just doesn't seem all there. But, uh, Fairy, you, you sneak around the back quite stealthily. Um, do you try to go in the back door? Yes. You know what I'm going to ask you to do then? Mm-hmm. Buy him dinner first. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 12-year-old me just had to get that in there. No, no, that's all right. That's all right. No, that's that's Packy Daytona. So, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. So, uh, Whoa. What were we saying earlier about this being a kid-friendly show? It's, yeah, no. Uh -huh. Technically, it he said family-friendly. Family. No family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why we were all like, no, it's not. It depends, no, it's not. On, your, it depends on your family, you know? So, <laughs> Okay, that's true. Totally normal family-friendly right, show. So, uh, Periel, roll me a lockpick on the back door. Okay, back door check. Here we go. <laughs> you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's a natural 20. What? For 27. That's, yeah. So you are, like, uh, on the wings of love, you are able to open this door and just... And it just I told like, you who needs keys. Yeah, who needs keys indeed? It's it's the belt of the rogue right there. It's, a, it's got a really big belt buckle. I forgot I have that. That does something for my lock picking too, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Wait a minute, I didn't even add that. Hold on. It's hard to get past that it. Makes she wants to succeed even more. 30. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
at this point, you're pretty sure you could disassemble the door and no one would notice. But so, yeah. The so lock works door... better now that you've unlocked it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <You've> actually... <laughs> oh, no one's oiled this in a while. Yeah. Oh, God, Let me just improve terrible. this a little. Yeah. So uh, as you go ahead and enter into the back room of the stones, it's it, nothing seems out of place. It's you know, you get, you know, like you see the barrels of the you, you see the barrels of actually the good mead, which is a standard classic but then there appears to be some sort of filtration system where he's got the good mead right next to just a barrel of water and a, like a little tub of it's got like ice in it that's melting slowly do so, i have wait i gotta see, do i have like she take her iphone out and take a picture of that <laughs> no i Your do i have, a, I have a water skin on me yes can i dump that out and fill it with the good shit oh absolutely no you can absolutely tap one of those barrels and just yeah. be like like, cause the, the, the equipment's all there. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I'm doing that. Dig it. So you go ahead and fill up your water skin with the good mead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love it. Know that. Yeah. Love and it. then I'm just looking for anything at all out of the ordinary. Cause the guy was definitely giving weird vibes. So I'm just trying to check for anything that seems weird. No, nothing. Again, it's, it looks as much as possible, like a normal back room in the bar. Like there's, uh, an absurd amount of those fish chips, like what appear to be loaves of the stones bread. Mm-hmm. But that's about it. Like the only thing that's odd, well, there are many things that are odd, but the only thing that's really sort of off putting is that like there doesn't seem to be any other variety. It's shitty beer, fish chips, and the stones throw sandwich. And that's it. And let's be honest, you know that times are hard, but. but this seems like. Real. Well, you did say it's a town full of 150 people. I mean. I don't know that you need yeah. that much variety for 150 people. True story. And also, on top of that, if you're competing with five other bars. Four mm-hmm. other bars, yeah. 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 So. Okay. That's what I'll, you see in the back room. Yeah, I'll make my way back out and around. And I'm assuming that as I get back around, I catch Flynn running out. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking, though, that if you're going to, like, roll 30s to get into back doors of bars, we need to buy more wine skins or yeah. water skins. Yeah. And this will just be our whole thing. So, yeah. <laughs> so this is just the start of setting up to like b- opening up the East Haven Tavern and Inn, and then that's where uh-huh. we have. I love it. Yeah. Well, as like, Fariel like fails her stealth roll because she's sloshing with like <laughs> twenty five oh, full water skins. Steal a keg of mead and then sell it back to him <laughs> at a markup. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Oh man. So far, you've joined a cult. Now you're trying to extort people. This is good. This Whoa. is good. Try- <laughs> trying. Um, <laughs> All right, can so I can around? I see my compatriots out the front door once she rejoins Flynn? Uh, so yeah, as as well. So Flynn, you don't come back in, right? You are. I'm going to the the next nearest bar. Fantastic. So the next nearest bar is the Even Keel. I'm gonna go. Like, am I? Do I see Flynn as I'm coming back around? Do I see yeah, him leaving? Absolutely. Okay. I'm I'm gonna be like, hey, Flynn. What? You keep, let's just go to the next one. You keep them busy. I'll check the back again. We'll just keep doing that. Oh, good. Cause I was planning on talking anyway. So yeah, you're good <clears> at that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. All right. Give, okay. Me, so, give me your water skin first. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yes. What? Okay. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I dump it out. All right, so Flynn. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry. Oh, fuck oh, okay, you. Okay. You're going to be dehydrated no, no, no. now. <laughs> so Flynn, you walk into the know. even keel, right? Yeah. So as soon as you walk into the even keel, sure enough, there's a bartender. Uh-huh. Hi. Taki Daytona. Uh-huh. How can I help you? What, what's, what's on your menu? Oh, well, this is the even keel. Mm-hmm. We have the keeler sandwich. The Keeler sandwich. The Keeler sandwich. Uh, cause the cause the stone bread will kill you. Oh, the stones throw. We don't talk about that here. That'll kill you. Right. So, what is the Keeler sandwich? Oh, the Keeler sandwich. Why? It's just made where you take two slices of bread, mm-hmm, uh-huh. then mm-hmm. fish, then. Two more slices of bread. It's a keeler. Right. Um, okay. 
Right. So have 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 you fish have bread? You, fish bread. Fish fi, fish, fish bread. Fish bread. Fish bread. Fish bread. Okay. Fish bread. Fish bread. Yeah. Right. right. <clears throat> um. And what's the beverage of choice here? Oh, uh, same beverage of choice that we have all over the town of Bremen. You serve the same choice of beverages as your brothers. It's not like we get a lot of variety out this far. But, I know, but um, you, you got a different sandwich in it. I thought you had a, would have a different. Well, I, I, I mean, I make drink. sandwiches. Okay, okay. You haven't seen me before, have you? No. Okay. No. All Welcome right. To the even keel. Yeah. Uh, th- th- thank. Thank you. Thank you. I'll... Tacky Daytona. Ta- tacky Daytona. Tacky Daytona. Tacky or tacky? Tacky. Tacky, right. And then um, he, he, he gestures up and you kind of look around the bar. And as you look around the bar, there's a lot of really tacky, like fish, there's fish tackle. It's just a lot of, there's fish tackle all over the place. Well, at least the personality is unique. <laughs> all right. Um, I'll take one of those sandwiches to go. Oh, you're going to have a keeler day. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. Jackie Daytona, normal human bartender. Normal human pretender. Gotcha. All right. And then, of course, we go back to the stone's throw. And so, Maggie Daytona, how may I help you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, this has been a lot of fun. Um, um, I, Xander, um, I would like to run an experiment. However, I I need an hour. Uh, can we? <laughs> I, I gotta do some things. I like just, like an hour in here, Professor. Uh, I mean, we've already been here ten, like ten ten minutes. I would like to detect thoughts, but uh, I need All to right. uh, I need to rest up a little bit. I we can guess, go to the inn. We can go to the inn and come back if, if you. If, I guess if let's you want. bring Delphi and I out the stonefish sandwich thing. Say, so sh- you know, hollering out to our our our. Uh... We can come back. No, I, no, I'm, no, sensing, no, I'm sensing. I'm no, sensing a lot of hesitation. No, if when I leave, I'm not coming back. Um... Hollering out to Z for a <laughs> hollering out for Z for a second. I don't think Xander has ever wanted a fireball more. Than yeah. Oh yeah, book. yeah. He's been. Uh, I put it in the chat. He's been looking at his books. Do I know that yet? Yeah. Oh uh, but... shit. No. Nope, not. You know, the great thing about having these taverns so close together, collateral damage. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you wanted us here before you let me learn fireball at level five. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so bring us a couple of those of those good old normal the stone throw. Yeah, bring one for me and one for Delphi. And if you have something not this really good mead that she could drink, that's like some oh, water, you, some oh, milk. I, I, I might be able to find some uh, some milk or uh, uh, there's there's some walrus milk or, or maybe some. Uh, some Cal, Cal, smell. Uh, well, do you have lavender tea? I'm just gonna look at her. <laughs> what kind of bougie place does she think this is? Uh, I, mean, I, th- I think I think a glass. Lavender, drop it in water. I think a glass of water would would be great if you could manage that for her. And two of those good old sandwiches. All right, mm-hmm. water, a couple yeah. of stones thrown. Go back, make make them good now. Oh, don't you worry. I'll add an extra grit. Oh my god. Um, uh do we do we know any games to pass the time? I'm just trying to think of something to do. I don't want to have to you sit and just You don't have to eat the food, Xander. We just no, need to No, I, no, 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 no. No, I know, but I Yeah, cuz that's going to be a con check, but I was <laughs> trying to give a reason to keep us here. Uh and I can also use prestidigitation to make parts of it disappear. Um or taste better. <laughs> Actually, that's true. I can make it taste better with Presti. <laughs> <laughs> so why haven't you been making our food taste better? This is this is this is where all of Herrick's wonderful bag of spices comes into play, friends. And then also at the same time, all those uh, those cantrips that you're like, man, what am I ever going to use that? It's like... <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing about thaumaturgy that I don't like is I can't make my food taste better. <laughs> <laughs> um. How long, once you get Detect Thoughts up, how long would that last, Professor? Um, Like a minute, I think. 
So we'd have to hit all five of these bars in a minute for you to get a full. I mean, it doesn't take long to uh, to get a read on somebody. Okay. We don't even have to go inside. I could do it from outside. Yeah, because there's a there's a decent well, and it's not line of sight, is it? Because you, you just detect thoughts. You just have to be able to sort yep. of within thirty feet. You have to be able to focus on each is individual. It, is it not blocked by by walls or anything? Um, I mean, thick walls. It's like blocked yeah. by like. I can't imagine these are uh, thick walls. So two feet yeah. of rock, two inches of metal. So no stone, uh, like wooden stone walls are not going to block it. Okay. Yeah, let's. We're we're gonna. Uh, I guess I will send. Oh man, they're probably out of my message range now, aren't they? Flynn is out of my message range. So he's at the next bar over. How, how far is your message range? It's a hundred feet, I think. Hundred feet. That I think it's one twenty. Message hundred twenty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. If he's if he's in, if he's in the next bar, which is uh, even keel, then yeah, he should be he should be within one hundred and twenty feet. Uh, I'll mm -hmm. send him just a message. Um, professor needs an hour casting detect thoughts. What do you need me to do? No. Oh, nothing. I'm just letting you know that we're he and I are at least here for an hour. Okay, God, I'm gonna God help us. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go stick my head in the other in the other bars. Oh, Wait, Xander. before you do that, I'm going in the back of this one. Okay, I'll I'll stay here for a minute then. Uh, Xander, the sandwiches get worse. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, I didn't say that out loud. He doesn't he didn't hear me. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Xander, so, do you uh, do you play dragon chess? <laughs> I'll reach into my bag. Take out uh, the chess set. I don't know that I ever have. Uh, let's. I'm, I'm sure you could learn if you're interested. Sure, Delphi, you can. You, <laughs> you could be the. You could be not. the the adjudicator. What? <laughs> yep. Do you play dragon chess? No. You want to learn? Yeah. All right, come come with me, and we're gonna learn. Excellent. Professor's professor's gonna teach us dragon chess. I'll teach you both. <laughs> That's gonna be great. What's what's our, what's the bartender's name here? Mackie? Mackie. Mackie is the one at the stones. And Mackie, Mackie. You, Mackie, you you play dragon chess at all? Not in the least. You want to learn? Want to learn? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to I mean, play with us? I I I feel like the others might be might be learning. So this would be a way for you to stand out, as to know. Oh how no, to I, I understand. Them. I just I just have to attend the bar in case the customers come in. Well, you can I, get I'm, up if, I'm gonna do a real just, slow burn, hard look around. Like, as you can you kind of see the door go. How many people a, have you had in here today before us? The Icewind Dale version of a tumbleweed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, how many people in today before us, Maggie? Uh, one. Oh, and who was that? It's me. I so, could have sworn there were people yeah. here when we walked in. You're sure we're the first, your first customers you've had today. Oh yeah. Jeez, I'm like you, totally, sure I'm totally getting learn. a, like a shining moment where Jack Nicholson is imagining all the ghosts in the bar suddenly. <laughs> you don't, you sure you don't want to learn? Because uh, let me tell you, your brother Steve is a great dragon chess player. You've talked to Steve. Uh, yeah, just just before we came in here. Roll. Oh shit! Just <laughs> no, like, oh shit! You pick, you pick the dead brother. <laughs> if I if so I gun. if I can see Mac oh, if I can see Mackie like pulling back on that. So Delphi, where are you from? Um, <laughs> and I'll just, I I will pull that like slice do that I conversation have over. Anything? Do I have? Do I have anything? Anything? I need hope. I thought you were charismatic. Wings I am. Love. I have a plus six. I just rolled another two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So on that two, Mackie looks at you and goes. And then he just turns and goes back into the back room. 
Are, are you sure it wasn't? What did I, what, what did I say? Are, are Xander, sure what did I say? It wasn't Steve. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. I, I think I think he's gone, Delphina. Right. And so Did he bring the you... sandwiches out? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and the three of you Xander, are, are left. It's not, look, I'll take two pieces of bread and I'll take some chips and I'll put them in. I'm like, look, it's not. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made a stone throw. Oh. oh. So, uh, did, did, yeah. did, did he bring them out, though? To us? Uh, so, uh, before you ordered you sat down you're getting your chests out he did he, he had brought out the two sandwiches all right i'm gonna use press digitation to make those sandwiches disappear and call for him again okay Mackie, uh th- those were fantastic you know i i think we'll take another round of those sandwiches it, we've been on the road longer than i thought i they they were quite quite tasty Mackie, kind of you see so you see him sort of like You want another sandwich? Yeah, yeah, an- another another round for the table, please. That uh, uh, we were just hungrier than we thought. Okay, sounds good. And then he starts to make two more sandwiches. Okay, so it feels like we're back to an even keel now with him. No, I'm at the even keel. Ah, uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, that was so bad. That was, sorry. That was perfect. Did. I, I didn't even realize I set it up. Perfection. Because I had blotted that part of my memory out. Like I'm gonna cut that out on the 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 YouTube videos. Like no, the whole, no, even no, we're that whole even that, that whole even sure. keel section is gone, so that Y'all. mine makes sense. Y'all, this. This entire section that I've created for you is worth it just to get that moment. That was cool. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. So Mackie, so Mackie comes out, delivers the sandwiches, though he is decidedly like he's all smiles, all smiles to both Xander and Delphi. And then the minute he looks at the professor, he, and then just goes back to the bar. So like he's. Did he bring me a sandwich? He, he brought sandwiches to the table he did not set one in front of you <laughs> i wonder if that brother is no more has left maybe meanwhile He's just the literal black sheep of the family like back it. at the even keel so if you do fish fish bread fish fish bread fish no. fish bread fish so bread fish bread fish bread fish, fish bread fish bread, bread. Fish, bread. So you, so you start in the middle. So the fish is the middle. Then it's fish, bread on both sides. Then fish again. Two more fish, and then bread again. So it's fish. How many? How many bread, fish? Fish in bread. total, or like in this? Fish, bread. Three, three fish, three fish. Ah, okay, okay. Now I'm getting now 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 I'm getting it. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Fish, bread, yeah. fish, bread. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fish, bread. Yeah. Fish, bread. yeah, yeah all right, 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 all right. Furio, right. what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is me oh. killing time for Ferio. Yes, yeah. I'm I'm going in the This is bat. Flynn loafing about. So <laughs> Yeah. Flynn, teach him how to batter it and deep fry it. Ooh. Yeah, France. Hey, let me get in the kitchen real quick. Oh, man. <laughs> no, don't go in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, no, 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 out of here. Well, I'll sell it. here. Sell it. Sell it here. Now it's, yeah, now it's Flynn I'm... bread. Flynn bread. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to go in the back door again. Well, all right then. <gasps> Roll me a stealth check in the first. Stealth check in first. Okay. That's pretty pretty darn good. Um that's going to be a a 25. Love it. And then the lock pick for the back door. Lock pick. Oh. That's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. <laughs> and that's that's with your all your added oh, bonuses. Oh, 23. 23. I forgot Love I got a plus three now. That's right. Plus That's three. right. Don't, don't never forget. So the 23 is absolutely like, so unlike the 30 where you're able to actually improve the lock a little bit and get it to move, like this still opens easy peasy, but it's a little, a little like you're not able to get it to go all the way. It kind of hits, hits a bit of a, a, a sack on the other side and it doesn't make much noise, but you're all right. And as you go into the back room, you do, a little bit of a double take because it's the exact same damn room like 
The layout is just the same. You have the mead skin, the water skin, or, or the water bucket with the ice melting in it. And then over to the side, instead of the fish chips, there is fish, bread, fish, bread. And just it's sort of laid out as if it was almost like a sort of a subway serving station where it's just fish, bread, fish, bread. And they it, like as if you could mm -hmm. just go fish, bread, fish, bread, fish, and then like just like make nonstop sandwiches. Okay. I'm going to fill Flynn's water skin with. <laughs> I love it. Um, does this fish look like what's the quality of this fish? So the fish is typical of uh, the uh, of the Dale. This is uh, it's knucklehead trout. So as it were, um, it's not uh, what, what is the word for it? It's not the appetizer. It's not, it's not great. It's just abundant. I mean, yeah, right. Like it's, it's so, not bad. It's just like fish. Yeah, so like Normal. they, so these these beautiful looking creatures that I'm showing you now are, um, you know, that they, they serve like it's it's it it it's a protein, you know. <laughs> so um, it'll keep you alive. Yeah, and, and 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 as most people will tell you who cook with fish, it's like it's all in how you prepare it. But mm -hmm. there's not a lot to write home about in terms of the the base uh, meat of it. But okay. it's kept the people in the Dale alive for centuries. Okay. Um, is the, the, do I see the door into the tavern part? Yes. Is it a solid door? Is there a little window on it? So there's no door actually. It's just sort of a doorway as it were. So okay. it's like you could very, you very clearly hear from the other room, tacky saying, so it's fish bread, fish bread. Can I Fish sneakily bread. just peek out that door? Since I haven't actually been inside this tavern, I want to see if it looks like the other one. What is your, um, what's your, what was, you got your stealth roll? You did a 25 was yes. my first stealth Yes. Roll? Okay. So with that 25, you're able to sort of creep up to the door and yeah, then. Kind of like. Finn, roll me a perception. Flynn, roll me a perception. Ah, uh, so let's see what this does. <laughs> 18 18 okay with well, the 18 I thought, I'm sorry I thought it was the four and I was like fish bread fish bread fish <laughs> so distracted by the so, bread. And so with it with the 18 and your stealth of 25 like you you very clearly peer out and it is the same damn bar room okay same damn back room hell from the back it looks like the same damn guy except this one has tackle all over the place. Just a lot of lot of lot of fish tackle. Okay. Like... Um, do, do I like make eye contact with Flynn at all? So you absolutely can. Uh, Flynn's eighteen. He's he doesn't perceive you as you sort of peer around the corner. But if you make a motion or try to gesture to him, yeah, he, I want to like, see you. I want to be like, you know, make like a motion. Be like, all right, we're good. I'm going out. You know, like yeah. oh, oh, not fish. I, I, okay, now, now, and then now I'm gonna I head it. out. All right, all right, dig it. So you, you head out, and yeah, so fish, bread, fish, bread, fish, bread, fish, fish bread, bread, fish, bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Well, uh, thanks for that lesson. Uh, I'm gonna take oh. my sandwich here and uh, and head on out. So, oh no, my dog. Oh, it's on the ground. Oh, oh, but look oh. at the time. I gotta go. Too. Sorry. Well, you, you have yourself a killer day. <laughs> God, I hate you. <laughs> See, most people think you have to like do like a horror game to really torture your players. Oh no, friends. No. Oh no. <laughs> it's all about crime and punishment. All it right. doesn't have to be jump scares or anything like that at all. Nope. Just put nope. them in a weird time loop. Just the just the slow grind of players trying to figure out how many puns the DM can throw into the next 30 minutes. All right. So, uh, Flynn, you head out of the even keel, and Fariel, I imagine you meet him in the front of it. Yes. Jumping back to Stone's Throw. Uh, Professor, you're still working on your mojo? Uh, we're playing chess. Love it. <laughs> playing chess in there. So, Flynn, Fariel, where do you go next? All right. So, um, Professor says he needs an hour because he's going to do something. 
Okay. Um, um, oh, here's your here's your water skin bag. I, I filled it with a little something special. And uh, there's something weird going on. <laughs> I mean, ob besides the obvious. Besides the, the, the regular day, yeah. No, no, yeah. no. Um, so the back rooms of both of these bars are ex exactly the same, like so, exactly the same. So, so are the the, dine, the the bar areas and so is the host. Yeah, like, I, look, the magic shit, that's not my thing, but there's something going on here. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, they're totally watering down the mead. Uh, your water skin is full of the God, God shit. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I got you. Okay, so. so we can either, so, so, uh, um, that the professor needs an hour. Yeah. So do we, do you want, do just, you want to hit the other three and yeah, see what it's I like? Might as well this is a friendly reminder from your dungeon master that you still have not taken a long rest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the voice tells me that this might, end, might in a fight. If we it, try maybe and, maybe like we an, should just go meet back up with everyone Yeah, else. we'll check Tell it out. Make it like in a nod later. Okay. Yeah, yeah. At least we got some good mead now. We can pass the time. Mm -hmm. All right, so we go back to... Um, to the stones. The stone. Yeah. Love it. So you walk back into the stone and you say, Ah, hey, Mackie Daytona, normal human bartender. Hey. Hey. Tacky. No, Mackie. Ah, oh, right. I just met the other yeah, one. Yeah, Jackie, right? No, Mackie. Jackie's my brother, and Tacky's my other brother. Oh. Mm-hmm. And, and who are the other two brothers that, that built these taverns? Oh, Jackie and Steve. You wouldn't happen to have, I'm sorry, this is a really personal question. You wouldn't happen to have like a family portrait or something, would you? Oh, no. Oh, well, actually, I do have this one. And <laughs> he holds up he holds up a, a picture, and the picture looks like... So it's as if someone took a portrait and they ripped someone out of it, except rather than ripping someone out of it, this one has only one person in it. And sure enough, the only person in this strip of a photograph in front of his bar... There's none other than Mackie, Mackie Daytona. Daytona, normal human bartender. What the I hate fuck? all of this. Yes. So how am I doing at chess? <laughs> <laughs> I've given oh. up on your riddle, DM. Roll a D100. Um, an Anderson D100? An Anderson D100. Roll me a D100. Oh, oh no. Who's playing? Who's, who's the opposite? Uh, 57. The professor. Professor, roll a D100. Good. He can't get over a two, so I should be fine. 98. <laughs> <laughs> the time that it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. 98. The professor is soundly trouncing you in dragon chess. Now, you said it was an Anderson D100. It is. But it's an Anderson D100 in Mackie Daytona's bar. <laughs> God. Damn you, Mackie Daytona. <laughs> Damn you, Mackie Daytona. What? Right. So, all right, Duffy, we're, we're falling behind here. Should I move this one or this one? Mm. If you move that one, he's going to do so. Move that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. And like from her position, I'll mage hand move that one. All right. Just because I'm so fucking bored and ready, to, <laughs> ready for the professor's spell to go off. Man, we can fast forward this hour if we need to. No, I'm so go ahead and roll your D100s again. Uh, both of us? Yeah. Uh, my cat is sitting on my dice. 38. <laughs> 38. 40. You definitely should have moved the other one. So, and then final roll for this game, best two out of three. But if it's best two out of three, then he's already won. Shh, just roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't question that, Daytona. You, 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 you take your trouncing like, <laughs> like a normal human bartender. <laughs> 73. And then Can we get five. that on a shirt? Love it. 
Love it. What's that? <laughs> take, your that take your take your take your trouncing. Oh. Oh. I thought you meant take your <laughs> trouncing like a normal human bartender. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the professor has. So while the professor may be many things, uh, he is also a killer dragon dress, chess player, as he has just beat you soundly, which is fair because he was teaching you the game. I was gonna but say it, it, when you're teaching see, the, the key game, is to control you should the center of the board. When yes. you're teaching a game, you should always win the first one. <laughs> Professor, at this point, you have had at least an hour of trying to explain the rules and then also trying to explain why Delphi shouldn't make suggestions about dra Dragon Chest. Thank um, goodness. Can I take my short rest then? Yeah, of course. All right. So as game playing is a, as a, a light activity. Oh, is that why you did the hour to recover a spell slot? Yes, <laughs> I just need the short rest. <laughs> I was, well, I was thinking it was a one hour cast like commune. Nope. I did, no, I did because, too. I'm like, nope, how is again, he? From the neighborhood, he, yeah. reminder. It's like, how is he going to play chess and do a one hour cast? I was like, oh, no, he I just, just needed chill. a short rest just to chill and like not teleport around the world for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's 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 cast this, shall we? Oh, good. And this one hates you, so. Um. So I immediately can hear surface thoughts. Surface thoughts, of anyone within. Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay. Okay. Do we know you're doing this? Yeah. Can we move away from me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stand outside. Uh, yeah. it, takes, it takes an action. I, I focus I focus on one creature. I don't okay. want you and I around. and I can hear their surface thoughts. And they now they and they don't get to resist you because it's just they, the surface thoughts. If you need to yes. probe deeper, then they then there's a role for that. Hold on. And then yes, darkness that falls. <laughs> <laughs> One moment. <laughs> <laughs> Professionals, guys. Yes. Was, was that was that cat related? Yeah. It was. It was yeah, say, cat professionals related. with cats. <laughs> All right. So uh as you go ahead and probe Mackie Daytona's mind, you hear liar. Uh, so I, 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 I know the I, send send to Zan, Xander. I'm like he's he's saying he's saying liar, something. Either he's lying or he thinks we're and then, lying. Professor, you notice that as you're looking at Mackie, Mackie is looking right back at you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on him. Try to probe. And then as he turns and looks to the other people in the room, you just hear yet almost right before he says it, you hear, Mackie Daytona, normal human bartender, and he just says, "Hey, Mackie." And so it's this weird sort of like echo loop where you just hear what he's saying right before he says it. Yes. So, so I'm I'm seeing that this that things are playing, and and Professor just tele telepathed me. Uh, all right. So Mackie, level with me. My uh, my friend Flynn was was next door. He just wanted to see if this place was better, which, which he said it was. But I, I just uh, the their sandwich over there. It just and so I'm just gonna go into like some sort of random bullshit about the sandwiches to see if that disrupts his surface thoughts for the professor to get another read on him. So as it goes ahead and sort of does it, like the only surface thought you get from him. As he's sort of having this conversation, it's just Mac Daytona, normal human bartender. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to to probe deeper, and he can take his wisdom save. Oh. All right then. Mm -hmm. What is the DC? Uh, it's there. Fourteen. Ah. Well then, uh, he rolled a ten. Okay, so um, if it fails, I gain insight into its reasoning, its emotional state, or something looms large in its mind, such as something it worries over, loves, or hates. I'll just. Right. I I'll like it. So put this into the. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for popping. So as you 
probe deeper into Mackie Daytona's thoughts, there is almost this very thick cloud of just Mackie Daytona, normal human bartender, Mackie Daytona, normal human bartender. And then you hit this well of hatred for his brother, Steve. Hmm. Right. Um, and, and he like, is—he is also immediately immediately aware that I'm messing with his mind. Uh huh. And that's and so as he does this, like he looks at you, and the look he gives you is just like daggers. Right. Do uh, I know? Do I notice that? Oh, absolutely. Like anyone in the room, like because he is just like. Is oh yeah of course yeah uh huh uh huh yeah oh yeah oh no Mackie Daytona yeah normal human. So oh, uh, when, go. when when he when he does that, I'm gonna look at the, gonna look at the professor. Uh, uh, now you said that you weren't gonna gonna do that anymore. It since he's s- Mackie um, since he Sander, lost his arm. Please, uh, please since he, pack up the you, game. I'll s- 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 I'll s- turn s- and, s- and walk out. Delphi, pack that up. S- since he yeah. lost his arm, he's been it, it, he's. He's trying to to reach out and connect, and I think really you people should ways. leave. Yeah, I think you people should leave now. No. Oh, and, oh, yeah, okay. and I, I will I will shell out t- t- twice whatever he says I owe him, and and uh, I, I apologies, Mackie uh, Delphi. You almost got that game packed up. Uh, we um we, we won't trouble you further. I uh, apologies, and don't come back here again. Okay, we we won't. Uh, thank you, thank you for your hospitality and and for the the stones throw sandwiches and and the lovely. M- mead like drink oh, and I, I will was good. and I will uh, I kind of like side usher her out so that I'm between him and Delfina and we will start heading toward the door but I won't Just... I won't take eyes off of him and I will continue to be apologetic and he'll just glare at you the entire time you're backing out and then as soon as you're through the door and they close, that's it. And you're back outside in Bremen. All right. Uh, uh, well. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I mean, as soon as the doors close and, and he breaks looking at me, I'm going to open the door back. Uh, did, we didn't drop the bag for this game in here, did we? I just want to see if it cleared. DM, that's all I'm looking for, to see if he's still burning on me or oh, if, if it cleared. It. So- and he's like, oh, back to Daytona. No, so that's the thing. So as soon as you, as soon as you close the door, and he, he has this like it's as if he went, and then the minute he sees you, he. Uh, uh, oh, so she's got the bag. Sorry, uh, sorry. Thank you, thank you, Mackie. Mackie did her. And then, thank and you. then as you kind of see the window, as you see the d- the door is closing, he, like you can just catch the briefest glimpse of his face going back to normal Mackie Daytona. Well, I think it's safe to say we can never go in there again. What, Here, Xander, uh, drink this. What, That's what fine. Is, There's four is, other bars. Did, ooh. What? Uh, I'll hand it back to Flynn. What? What did? What did you? What did you get from? I gotta me? keep moving. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Ariel, Connor, come on. Let's, let's, we, 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 we gotta go to the. To, to, I forgot we. Were, <laughs> I forgot we were trying to make the 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 others. Sorry. So as I'm walking, I'm like, "There's nothing in that brain besides underneath." Mackie Daytona is a burning hatred for his brother Steve. So I'm gonna just make a quick circle of all the other taverns and just do a quick listen. So as in the five of you are currently traipsing outside the five tavern center, a dwarf comes walking up to you and he God, finally you're here! In Greg's, don't you know the fish aren't gonna catch themselves? Huh? Excuse me. I, I I don't care if the fish catch I, any I like any. Ask as I keep walking. I don't Aren't care. You the the fish... You're the crew that should be coming down to the docks with me right now to help me catch these fish. You're the new people in town, yes? Uh, mm. Can I hear his thoughts? You can actually. He's sitting there going like, "God, I gotta get somebody out on these boats." And this is supposed to. Be, I'm supposed to meet the crew. They said they were gonna be down by the docks, but they're not there. These are the only people I don't know in town, so I assume these are them. We we are new in town. We are not fishermen. Uh, thank you uh, I and think, good day. Uh, d- d- please don't. Uh, we are we are <laughs> we are your crew. 
think I just heard I, the professor's thoughts for a second. And, and I will, I will, I will look at the professor. No, professor, we are not a fishing crew. I mean, I did fish one time. And I, I am burnt. I'm burning a hole in the professor like Mackie was. <laughs> I gotta listen to more thoughts. I'm gonna keep walking. <laughs> well, no, no, wait, Don't I, listen to mine. Hang on a second. I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll pay you. I'll pay you good money to go fish. I, I need the fish caught. I mean, for God's sakes. I, I do have a boating license. Oh, how much are you paying? How, how, how much are you paying? Well, I mean, the agreed upon price was five for each uh, trout that you uh, you bring in. Five what? Five, yeah, five what? Five copper pieces. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm. What, now, hang on, hang on. I mean, it, it, it's good, honest work, and I, I mean, I. Just... We're not really used to good, honest work, to be honest with you. And we appreciate the the offer, but uh, I am I am out on this one. Thank you, sir. And I will actually oh, it's head. It's been a very I, long day. I will actually head toward the the the, the buried treasure. Our friend needs a nap. I think yeah, the, the other one needs to. He's he's doing a speed run bar crawl, so we gotta watch him. He's doing a non-alcoholic bar crawl. <laughs> <laughs> you, say, you say he's doing a bar crawl, but all you see is the professor going to the front door of each place, going mm, okay, yes, and then just walking over to the next one. But, but, but should should we help him? Cause 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 he needs help. We we could catch some fish. All right, quickly. all right. Look, look, all right, all right. Uh, look, no, look, 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 guy. No. Find us, find, find, find us at the buried treasure later. Right now, busy. It's timed. We gotta, Perhaps we gotta tomorrow. go. Tomorrow, but the, Perhaps. the boat needs to go out today. Look, look. I, I'm paying good money for good fish, and and if you're looking for honest work, the people of this town need to. Eat. We're not looking for honest work, honestly. How, how long well, is how, how do you need? How many hands do you need? Fine. Buried treasure? Is that what you're going to be? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fine, then. I will come to look for you tomorrow. Well, you, can't, you, 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 you can't miss us. We're weird. Okay. Just... Well, I'm, I'm not, but I, I, I might can help you. Delby. Oh, she... No. No. She can't. And I just kind of put my arm around her <laughs> and like well, her just, away. Come, come find me. I'll try. <laughs> she pulls me away. <laughs> to reiterate, Xander is fucking gone. Yeah. I, hopefully the professor has like took lead and is uh, on the last bar now while we. I'm listening for Steve. I'm huh. listening for are there is there any patrons in these taverns at all? So, while you would think there would be, uh, no, except the moment you walk in, you're the patron in the bar. But so and as you do it, it's like, you know, so you walk into the river's mouth, which ha is uh, held uh, is. Uh, to his, be clear, his. I'm I'm not actually entering any of the I'm like standing oh, you're coming the front up to, door okay. and like just listening. So as you as you're coming up to the, the front door, like you hear like the the they the, the bartender seems to be like Packy Daytona. And then Packy Daytona at the river's mouth is currently sort of like oh, hope some customers coming today. That would be nice. And then uh and then as you go ahead and uh go to the black bearded brother, you know that is indeed Jackie Daytona's bar, and he oh, it would be nice to certainly have some some customers come in today. Certainly be good. So I'd love to have some. And then as you uh, head to the Grumpy Moose, Steve is just stringing together a uh, uh, a tapestry of expletives. That is this my is this my bar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are the Grumpy Moose. So Steve's just like dirty, sucking, look at ass, something piece of shit i'm got jimmer i'm steve daytona and so i'm gonna walk in <laughs> i love it so you walk in to the grumpy moose which as i go ahead and pull so you like it's it's the second it's the second to the last bar in uh, in the town. And as you go ahead and open the door, you are, uh, like at this point, is anybody surprised? Like you walk in and sure enough, it's the same bar that same you've bar. seen. It, like the, the layout is the exact same. Like it is just. 
like it's crazy and that it's not crazy at all. So one second, as the world works against me for a moment, there we are. I'm sure enough, there's Steve Daytona. What do you want? Uh, just uh, looking for a drink, my friend. Well, welcome to the Grumpy Moose. What do you have? Uh, what is your special? The Grumpy Moon Moose. Town. I'll have one of those. He goes ahead and sets uh, a, a mug down on the bar, and the mug has what appears to be straws that come out that looks like you can share from it. So the glass <laughs> is put in such a way that six people can drink from one beer at a time. So, uh, Grumpy Moose, uh, how'd you come up with the name? Because I'm so cheerful. That's, uh, it's fitting. It's fitting. It's a good... It's good. It's a good joke. Let me, I'll just take a tiny sip of whatever this is. So this is actually a, a, a somewhat decent mead. Uh, Steve of the five Daytona brothers uh, waters his down the least, but he does put a little bit of chili pepper in it. So it's got a little bit of heat to it. Steve, I'll tell you this. Is, what are, can I... I've already heard his service thoughts and that this spell is about to time out. Uh, I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it slip. All right, cool. So as it says, he's just like first customer I have all day. And this guy's just sitting here drinking. <laughs> We're coming in, bar, man. You're coming in and buying <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, uh... Um, did we see? Do we know where the professor is? Did we see oh, him go into like the so? In I would say that Delphi was eyeballs on uh, eyeballs on uh, the the dwarf that was talking out the front. Poor fisherman. Uh, yeah, the dwarf, the poor fisherman, and then Farrell was very much like, no, 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 stay away from him, shiny thing. Um, <laughs> and then so he, so you're very focused on her. Uh, I would uh, so Xander. We don't Xander Flynn, were either of you keeping tabs on the professor? Yeah, it was like like. I figured that, one of you would. So yeah, you at, saw at that, that point that Xander said, "I'm walking away toward the other place." Oh, he's Xander right turned him. and walked away to the other place. Yep. So Xander is actually headed, you're headed off to the buried treasure. Yes. All right, love it. So as he heads off to the buried treasure, Flynn is looking around. He saw the professor go into the grumpy moose. He's like, okay. And then Fariel with Delphi, are you heading after Xander, or did you? Well. Delphi, Flynn, and I were all together talking to the fisherman guy. Okay. And I was, I think Flynn was just kind of eyeballing everything Brilliant. and I was just so, staring Delphi away. So we're, I imagine we're I all it. still together. So Xander has peeled off towards the south because that's where he knows buried treasure is. But then uh, presuming, I guess, that everyone is going to start to follow him because he had walked very qu qu quickly away from the dwarf who was trying to uh, pedal a task at you. Flynn sees the professor dip into the grumpy moose and goes, and then immediately follows after the professor. Do you bring Delphi with you? Yes. All right. So as you bring Delphi in to the grumpy moose with you, the professor is sitting there on the bar and he has this like fluted, and he's just sort of drinking from one end of it. And then you see Steve Daytona. Welcome to the grumpy moose. Steve, these are my uh, companions. Hi. Hi, hi. Hey, how you doing? Steve uh, uh, yeah, is that a crazy okay. straw? It is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, <laughs> it's it's quite good, honestly. If you guys should get one yourself, or feel free to share. No, I'm taking. Oh, well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Chili powder. Chili powder. Y'all got spices in here. It's got, it's got a little zing. kick to it. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, You've done well, Professor. Steve. It's, Professor. Steve, what are you doing in that sandwich? Xander headed the other way. Do you have an ability? Do you have a way to like tell him to come back? Mm, no. That's not a thing you can do with your, you know, stuff that you Is that a that thing you, you can do? No. I shoot she's, arrows. She's I don't not do psychic. Things. I mean, I, I, right in, no, no, I, I can't. 
Anyway, Steve, could I ask? <laughs> can I can I ask you maybe a, a personal question? So everybody, make a perception check. Oh no! <laughs> like, uh, Eight. Uh-oh. Eight. Oh, that's not good. Perception. <laughs> eleven. So I see a twelve and eleven. Seven. <sighs> A seven and an Good eight. Lord. Love it. So as <laughs> the four of you, as the four of you enter into the grumpy moose and start to have this conversation about like, ooh, chat, 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 chat. Uh, you look up to say, hey, Steve, is the and Steve is gone. <sighs> and that, friends, no, <laughs> no. And end Steve's the totally for dead. Time. <laughs> uh, we gotta follow you know what we gotta follow Xander. This is the second yeah. <laughs> this is the second time in as many sessions as we've this... gone the opposite way of Xander and Look, then ended up I tried, but you two do-gooders trying to go fishing for five copper over here. I hey. love y'all so much, but like number one rule of D D, never split the party. <laughs> no, split the party. 